Standing there for voting under the law, because the priest of God and the church was excavated. Hey, how's it going? I think we are live. Things on YouTube are a little different for me, as I'm still getting the hang of things. But welcome, one and all. Darren here, of course. And today we're going to be doing a live stream, as opposed to a video. So I wanted to do a live stream in Anno, because after the last episode, which was episode 107, multiple people said, if you're going to try to fulfill all needs, it's best to work from the top down, not from the bottom up. So I was trying to do all the needs of the farmers and the lifestyle and work my way up. But as many people correctly pointed out, you know, you're going to be changing the demands of things all the time if you do that. So if we're going to go from the top down, I've got to place all the investors and the engineers and so on and so forth that I think I'm going to end up having on this island and then deliver everything they need. So today we're going to be mostly just designing and doing cosmetics here of my capital island, and then I'll be able to continue doing the logistics in future episodes, if that makes sense. And hello! <laughs> uh, so, it's gonna be, you know, mostly just a cosmetic and design type episode. This island has been... Well, it's been here for a very, very long time. How many hours are we up to now? 317 for Hans von Schlong. His master island is almost complete. Arthur Gasparov is no more. But there's obviously a few pockets, a few little gaps that we need to kind of fill in. I don't necessarily know what we're going to end up with in terms of how many more investor households. All right, just have to plug out my mouse there for a sec. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like we'll probably get a couple extra households, but not, not probably too many. Too many more. And uh, then we'll just place everything into place and try to sort out attractiveness and things like that. And see what kind of buffs we're getting from the palace. And that'll be kind of it for this place. And then we can just work on meeting the demands of it. There you go. 
Um, so yeah, I'll be trying to read the chat. I just wanted to have that kind of almost as a, a little intro there, but I'll be reading my chat now a little bit better. For anyone who has questions or whatever during the episode, feel free to ask away. Um, people have asked me on my other streams actually lately about the creative mode patch and stuff. I still, I hate to say it, I still haven't actually seen what it is. I haven't looked it up yet. People have just told me there's like a creative mode coming uh, where you can build templates or something. Um, so I actually haven't looked at it yet, but I'll look at it. I'm sure I'll look at it by the time it's out, but soon. <laughs> anyway, hopefully for the next video or the next time I talk about it, I'll know. Anyway, uh, will you upload this to YouTube as well? Well, I'm on YouTube right now, and it'll stay on YouTube once the stream is done. So it's my first time kind of experiencing of YouTube streaming. Routines. It's been um, an experience learning it. It's a, just a little different to, different to Twitch. I stream on Twitch fairly regularly. And... Um, on YouTube, the way it basically works is once the video is done or once the stream is done, it goes into a processing mode where it'll stay unlisted for a few hours and then it kind of reappears. Um, so it should stay up. Yeah, it'll, it'll be there. So you don't have to watch the stream, but if you want to interact with me and give me ideas or whatever, or, or tell me directly to my face that you hate me, you can do that. <laughs> um, I've been binging your Anno series for a couple of days now and I've been loving it so much. Says Yum Yum, thank you. I made you buy the game even. I am blameless in that. <laughs> um, but that's good that you're liking it. Super excited to watch, love the series. You should definitely spend as much time as you want we and need with the decorations. such. Yeah, that's what I thought would be just fun to chill out for a few hours. You know, about three, three, four hours or something. Just building out the cosmetics and making the island look super interesting. As, or as best as I can, anyway. One thing I'd be meaning to get, though, and maybe I could hop out while I'm doing it, is the... Um, like Chinatown pack or whatever it's called, you know, like the dragon ornament pack. I don't have that yet. And it would be nice to just maybe see if we could get a little, um, little Chinatown going. Please don't stop playing at 1800. I'll try not. <laughs> um, well, I'm sure eventually I will. This series will probably come to an end once this island's done and I've sorted out some logistics. But then I plan on doing the scenarios and people have asked me if I'll stream or do some sort of um, new campaign now that all the DLCs are out. And I feel like I might, can, I'd probably like to stream it. So it depends how these streams go, really. And if they they do well enough, then I'll consider doing a, a full run of a campaign on streams. And they'd be much more regular. They'd be like, oh, you know, every every Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll, we'll stream. And you'd have much more regularity with them. Uh, so yeah, just bear with me a second. I'm just going to tap out for a, a moment, as you can see by the black line. And I'll just go into the Ubisoft Connect store. I've tried to buy this DLC three times. And it doesn't let me buy it. So I don't know... If now is the time. Dragon Garden Pack is what it's called. Alright, buy. I'm clicking buy. I might have to restart the game maybe, but at least... This should work. The item could not be added to the cart right now. Please try again. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but I can't buy that for some reason. So, <laughs> I'd really like to have it. Um, the pinch of salt. But I can't seem to get it, so... There we go. I'm logged in to the Ubisoft uh, store. So I'm just moving my shaker. Anyway, how's the audio of the game? Is it too quiet? Oh, it seems okay, right? You guys let me know anyway. Again, my chat is just unfortunately a little bit small, so just bear with me one second. I'm going to open my chat on another window and just have it be really nice and large so I just cannot miss anything or miss very little. Hey, Jay Hart, thank you so much for the... Donation there, appreciate it. No message either, I don't think. That should pop up on the stream, but it didn't seem to. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, from what I can see, no message. Hopefully I'm not mistaken with that. That's my first ever super chat, so... I assume there was no message. But hey, appreciate the support, thank you. Uh, so you just bear with me just one second. Pop out chat, there we go. And now I can scale it and zoom in, it'll seem a bit bigger. Yes, finally. Okay, I can see things much more clearly now. Can you buy it on the Steam store? Well, I own the game on the Ubisoft store. I don't know if the two are connected together. I don't own the game on Steam. I own it on Ubisoft. So buying it there, I don't think would really do anything for me. All right, sweet. Okay, sorry about that. I've got my chat nice and full screen now on my other monitor, so I should be able to see it. It was on. It was just really small, kind of hard to read, but I got it now. All right, the sun is setting here. 
So let me just see if I can catch what else I can catch before we actually begin. Uh, the main island looks great. Maybe give the building some more space and city life. Yeah, I can't say I'm much of an architect. I mean, some buildings have, like, lots of space. We could do maybe a tour of the island really quickly as we get to know it, and then we'll start to change it around. So I'll lock the time of day for a little while, and we'll have a look around the different districts that we currently have. Trying the website instead of the launcher? I could do. I don't want to delay the stream too much, but I feel like I should do at least try. Also, I don't know if other people are getting this, but the music just goes off. But I've queued up the music on a little soundboard for me to play it when I need it. Very sad music, though. Alright, I'll try just really quickly, if people can bear with me, to buy this DLC on the Ubisoft Connect store on desktop. And I'll just see if um, that works. Am I logged in? Oh, it's going to be a pain, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm logged in. Good. Welcome back. Two-step verification. All right. I have my... Oh. So, yeah, send me a code by SMS, please. All right, bear with me. <laughs> Just got to log into the store. All right, I got my code. And I'm logging in. All right, so I'll just quickly see if I can buy it here, and then maybe it'll activate in the game. It would be nice to have it. Um, so it's... I have to search for it now. <laughs> Dragon City Garden Pack. There we go. Got it. Click. Add to cart. It has been added to the cart. J Hart BBY has basically paid for this, so I appreciate that. It was the same um, amount he donated as the amount of this DLC. 429. He donated 449. All right, check out. Would you like to get your free game before continuing? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. I don't know what that means. Oh, how would I like to pay? Whatever's quickest, really. <laughs> Other payment methods. PayPal. There we go. Sorry about this. I can't even read my chat while I'm doing this. I just want to get this done, get back into the game as quick as possible. So validate and pay. I'll earn up to four Ubisoft coins with this as well. It's going to be good. Order confirmed. Do I want to take a survey? No, I don't. Thank you. Okay, so I assume that means I've got it. Your content's been activated in Ubisoft Connect for PC library. Okay, so should we just try to restart the game really quickly and maybe it'll be there? Just hop out to here real quickly. Um, additional content. Cosmetic packs. Oh, I think, it, I think it knows. I think it knows that I have it. All right, cool. I think we're good to go. If you want to wait for sales on Steam, you can have Super Gold or whatever it's called version. Well, I don't, me personally, I'm sorry, I'm still early in the series. Does Swords still have production on the island or has it all moved? At this point in the series, pretty much nothing is made on Swords anymore. Um, yeah, it's, I moved all the farmers and the workers off. So it's just artisans, engineers, Investors, then we have the high life investors, there's the tourists and the scholars. That's what's on the island. So nobody really makes anything. There are vineyards actually, but that's about it. Uh, everything's either a restaurant, a drug. The drug stores, I, I guess, kind of make stuff, not really. Uh, Matthew Curlo, hey. Uh, I only have a MacBook. Too bad I can't play this. You actually can't play it? Oh man, now I feel even worse for not having regular uploads. <laughs> um, let's play. I'm playing with my brother and son. I've learned a lot watching your series, and it's been a blast. Thank you, Scott. Keep it the good work. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. They do have it in console now. Yeah, that's true. It's on PS5. I got sent a key for it just a few days ago. I haven't actually tried it yet. I kind of don't... I'm kind of scared to try it. I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to my console gaming, and um, I like to get platinum trophies and stuff, and I feel like, oh, if I start Anno, I'm going to have to go all the way, you know? Uh, no message in particular, just thanks to the... Hey, yeah, appreciate that. It was my first donation, forgot to add a message, that's okay. Uh, I've been watching your series since the lockdowns, yeah. Enjoyed everyone. Question, once you finish this playthrough, are you looking to do a modded one? Maybe, I've heard the Spice It Up mod is supposed to be quite good, so maybe I would consider playing that. Um, oh god, I'm so sorry guys, there's just one other thing I've got to do. Because there's a bug in this game now where the music cuts out quite regularly. Uh, play next, order. Ah, that's what you want. Looping all. Ah, uh, the music that is. Yeah. So I think if I click this button, 
Music should just play on a loop now. So if the music cuts out, I have my own at least. From the game. Okay. Another Platinum Hunter? Yeah. How many? I don't have that many, to be honest. I've got like, I don't know, 14, 15, something like that. I used to be a really big Platinum guy in the PS3 generation, but I sort of just skipped the PS4 gen- I mean, I had a PS4. But I wasn't really um, trophy hunting during those days. But now that I got a PS5, I'm like, okay, every game I put into this, I'm just going to try and Platinum it. If, you know, obviously if I like the game, I, I don't want to stick with something if I really don't like it. And I like to earn good Platinums as well. None of these five-minute Platinums that some people try to get away with. Anyways, alright, so just to get back on track, we should have this new cosmetic pack now. I've never actually seen it. I literally just bought it on stream. Should have had it, I guess, bought right beforehand, but I failed to buy it multiple times, but I didn't think for some reason to go to the website and try it there. There we go, it's here. Boom. Let's check this out first, and then I've already got an idea of what the first thing I'm going to do is. So we can get the ball rolling with that. But just to get have a look at this Dragon Garden pack. So this came out a couple weeks ago, I think. Uh, yeah, when I'm finished this save, I'll probably upload it so anyone can mess around with it then. And I feel like I'm going to be finishing it in the next few weeks. Um, I'm not sure why your message was deleted, what now? Let me just see. Oh, it's because you wrote in all caps for too long, so that's one of the, I guess, rules. I should have written that in the description because people might not know. That's just caught by a bot, so apologies for that, but I can't undo it. You can build a sword. You can build sword and rush as a twin city. No, I'm not going to do that. Rush is always going to be our smaller, you know, workers and farmers. It's the workers and farmers live here. And then it's the artisans, the engineers, and so on that live here. So this is just the upper class city. I'm not just going to keep scaling for no reason. Um, but yeah, actually, before I begin, before we look at the... No, we'll look at the pack first. And then I'll go through the districts that we have in this place. And we'll get familiar with the place. And then we'll start editing it uh, somewhat. So let's have a look. I'm just trying to see. Is there a blank... I really should uh, hotkey just a I'm blank tile. To introduce our new I never remember what that is. If you go to cosmetic, sorry, classic even, and it's along here. Just the one that's like blank. There we go. Paving. Always nice to see where that is. So um, yeah, I'll just hotkey this. Okay, so I'll always have it. All right, cool. Alright, dragon pack. So let's check it out. I'll actually turn around this way so we're not in the way of anything. So the first thing, a peaceful pagoda. I'll just put everything down and then we can get a look for things. A new year's stall. A wishing gate. Garden of serenity. Stone lion. Great dragon. What else do we have? A gong. Bronze bell, a wishing tree. Looks like it's got different variants as well, actually. Fortune coin stand. I'll have a zoom in and look at these things then. New Year's lantern. It's time moving, by the way. Just lock it. New Year's lantern. That was that one. Lucky bamboo lanterns. Lamppost. Lantern streets. And that's pretty much it, except for then the wall, I guess, which goes around. You can have a gate. Nice. Is that it? I think that's it, right? Pretty sure I clicked everything. So there we go. And now I can just um, maybe pave the rest so we can just have a nice clean look at this. And there we go. The wall's pretty cool. We have a little district. We've got our gong, our lamppost. So I guess that these things light up at night then as well. Now that's nice. The dragon lights up quite quite a lot. The lamppost, surprisingly, is quite dim. That could be cool. Yeah, we'll place some of these around. And then we've got our wishing tree with three different variants. Do any of the others have different variants by any chance? Just to be thorough. Yeah, it looks like the gongs do. Oh, right. More simplified gong or one that's like actually got a little rooftop thing. The official name for it. Ball. Bell, sorry, bronze bell. Its echo rings out loud and true, as it will in three thousand years. You got yourself an agreement. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Always love when there's a few different variants of these things. All right, cool. Nice to just check it out. You should play City Skylines. Yeah, I love City Skylines. I'm just not very good at it. Sorry for the the rattling noise every now and then. I'm just I have a a drink and a shaker. 
By the way, what now? If you were, uh, you might, you may have been timed out, but it will, it will open up again. Sorry about that. I just I actually don't have access to it right now. I'm working on trying to have a better moderation situation going on, but there's a few basic rules that come in, like by default, and one of them is writing everything in all caps. You can write all caps, but I think it's when it's like 80% of your message, it just flags it. I think it's the same for posting huge paragraphs and for long links, just so anyone knows. So I'm not manually doing it or, or anything, and you'll be able to talk again soon. It's just on some default, like, five-minute timer, I think. Anyway, hey, Pamela, I've had the buying problem in the past. And if you buy it within the game, it works. Oh, right. Well, that's funny. Well, you say that. It, it didn't actually work for me. The first time I tried it, I tried it in-game. Then I went out to the Ubisoft launcher. Then the whole Ubisoft launcher had a problem. So I was like, okay, I'll leave it a little while. A week later, I tried again in the UB launcher, to be fair. So maybe the first time there was just some network error that was meaning both weren't working. But good to know. It's worth trying anyway in future. Um, Alright, so yeah, I don't know what we're, if we're really going to use this too much. Just having a look around. Let's have a look around the city, and we'll have a look at the districts we've got. And then we'll decide where we're going to be building. So for anyone who's just joined, this is a continuation of a Let's Play series that I have. A very, very long-running Let's Play series. And for the sort of almost finale of it, towards the finale, I want to make our island here of swords complete. Because we're going to start working... Well, just to kind of recap... In my previous episode, we were doing stuff with farmers, and I was saying, like, I want to achieve all of their needs, all of their happiness, and even all of their lifestyle. We haven't actually set up two of them, but I'll do that later. Um, but people pointed out in the comments, hey, if you're going to do that, you should really work from the top down rather than the bottom up, as ingredients and things, the demands are going to change as they grow, and you might find that you need more people, you know, later on. So you might have to add more houses. So good point. Didn't really think about it, but it is a good point. So that's why now we're going to go from the top down. So to do the top down, we have to start with this island and at least just get the layout set so I know how many houses are going where, and then we can start to meet all the demands in the regular episodes again. So this is like an in-between episode. It's a stream of just doing the cosmetics and uh, taking some time to kind of answer comments about, um, you know, different things and stuff like that. So, do you have plans for making a giant playthrough for some other game, like the one for Anno? Um, basically, Anno became a giant playthrough because it did really well for me. I mean, the first episode got 1.7 million views. I mean, it's insane. So, obviously, I was able to keep it going for a very long time. So, the answer is I'd love to do longer series for lots of things. It just depends if it views well or not. I'll watch the rest later. See you later, Matthew. Or Matt. Hey, don't waste on... Yeah, don't waste any time. The weather here sucks, and if it was sunny, I might not be streaming myself. Um, <laughs> Darren plays City Skylands, and a city planner plays... An See, I, I'm not very good at City Skylands, uh, just because it's all about traffic, and I, I kind of suck at that. Um, but I love it. I'm excited for the new one. I think I probably will play some of it on... Maybe even on a stream or something, just to... Get my feet wet again before the new game comes out. Um... All right, so we'll start with our bottom tier of residents and start working our way up. So apologies if I miss some chat because I just want to keep the, the ball moving. I could sit here just t chatting with you guys all day. Uh, and about Manor Lords, Manor Lords is still in development. Yeah, so the, the guy has a Patreon for it. His name is Greg, the, the main lead developer, and it's being picked up by a publisher named Hooded Horse. Um, so he's tweeting about it. He's always showing updates and stuff, but it's just in development. No, no release date yet, so who knows? Uh, birthday shadow, yeah, happy birthday, Rick. Oh, what now? Your message was deleted again. You just wrote in all caps again. <laughs> you gotta, you have to stop doing that, and then you won't get deleted. Anyway, all right, so let's go over the different sectors. So basically, to start off, I'm kind of actually just gonna change the lighting a little bit. It's looking a bit strange. Uh, maybe 11 a.m. Yeah, it's a bit better. It's casting some shadows. Looks a bit na more natural and nice. Alright, so. We have our dock lens. Pretty happy with this dock lens. Using pretty much everything we could. And, uh, looks pretty nice, natural, and organic. Obviously no residents here, but it's just good to show it off. That's the dock lens that we have. We just sit still for a minute. Have a little rotate around. I'm gonna take a drink. And we'll continue in a sec. Unfortunately, though... In terms of optimization, it's not very good because it is disconnected from itself. So we actually only get 240 attractiveness. Each of these modules um, normally add 15, but all of the other modules are cut off because I want to make it look more attractive, ironically. Um, so yeah, because of that, it doesn't actually give nearly as much attractiveness as I'd like. I'd really like to get this up to about 12,000 if I could. 
It's on 11,200. I was doing some testing, and there's a way to get it to 14,000, but it can make it look things look a bit strange. All right, so next resident tier over. We'll check out the very first... One of the first things I built uh, that was a nice thing early on in the series, maybe episode 10 or something. I think it was actually episode 4. It was called Artisan Village. And it's pretty much stayed intact since I did that way back in like 2020 or whatever. So it's never really changed too much. I think I've added a few extra ornaments in and replaced some other ones when we've gotten them, like down here. When it was Christmas, there was Christmas themed ornaments and then I changed it to be like this. Um, this place could probably have a little bit of an overhaul, not probably in the placement of its buildings, but just in terms of the ornaments. We've got new DLCs and different packs and stuff that it'd be nice to dress the place with. But that's kind of like one of our artisan districts just down here. Something I plan on doing as well is having almost all of the fire stations be advanced fire stations and delivering them their materials. And we actually make enough materials for lots of fire stations, I just haven't set up the trade route yet. So that's the artisan district over there. There's another artisan district on this side of the map, or the island. And this is like the colorful, touristy artisan side of things. What's that music? Um, but yeah, they're almost like tourists. Or it's... The tourists are nearby because this is like a famous kind of part of the island, you know, the eclectic artisan district where houses look a little strange and interesting and they're known for their bouginess and people coming here just to, I don't know, see the sights and see the kind of interesting town. I can't really think of the, the phrasing for it. It's like I went to Denmark and Copenhagen recently and there's a street with like all these houses that are all different colors and it's like a tourist attraction in and of itself. I don't even know what you'd call it, but that's the idea and the vibe that I was going for here. Pretty happy with it. It's a shame that the lookout points that are I really like them. They just look out to the oceans and the various islands. Um, it's a shame that we couldn't put them on grass, but that is just the way it is. But other than that, the grass blends really seamlessly. The little walkways connect together and go through the different houses. Love it, you know? People are having their fish sandwiches outside of the church. Pretty happy with that place as well. That one will stay, pretty much stay intact. In this stream, I plan on filling in the gaps and moving some oddities around. Uh, so that'll be all the artisans. The next thing up then would be the engineers. And these are free to change a little bit. Starting with the docks down here. This is where the actual main wharf is. And then we have the commuter pier. And then we have the oil um, dock. If, or whatever you want to port, I guess. Oil port. We've moved all of our oil nodes down here. All of the clay bricks down here. The clay pits. And so on and so forth. Nice little industrial area. Walled off with a big red brick wall from the industrial DLC pack. And then we've just got a line of all the different signs that are in the game, really. And then the casino kind of nightlife district for the engineers. So at nighttime, this place lights up all neon. Pretty cool. Down by the shady docks. People cutting different deals late at night. That kind of stuff. Arson district? No, artisan district. <laughs> Although sometimes they do catch fire. Anyway, your Super Chats is currently not on. You can turn it on in the YouTube studio under Earn Supers. Well, someone actually... Dropped a super chat earlier, so they must be on. But I could quickly go have a look at that, to see why that would be. Um, well, I tell you what, I'm a subscriber on my own YouTube account of my own channel, so if I was to go watch my own stream really quickly... Let's see, am I able to donate to myself? <laughs> I don't know, I've actually- oh yeah, you can. Oh no, I can do a super sticker. I don't even know what that is. Is that what that other person did, actually? Super sticker. It might be, because it had a sticker. And sorry, Ryan said um, something earlier. That just went away. Just check what it said. Uh, you could use the ornaments in the Artisan District. That's where you put the Christmas ornaments dozens of episodes ago. Hasn't really changed much since then. You could use the ornaments. Which ornaments, though? The new Chinese ones? Uh, yeah, let me just check that about YouTube. That would explain some things, because um, in the... Some people said something about Super Chats the last time I streamed Satisfactory. So just bear with me again one moment. With mods, there's a variation of the Docklands building that allows roads to go through. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, there's a bunch of interesting mods that let you build harbors much further out. And there was one recently that just got released where... Um, you can even put trade unions out on the water, rather than just the harbor master offices. Let's see if Super Chats are available or not, and why would they not be? So I'm just having a look at it now. It says, Supers are active. Engage with fans who show support. Oh yeah, Super Chats are off. And so are Super Thanks. Huh. 
Well, they're active now. All right, so Jay Hartby actually did drop a super sticker. That's why there was no message. Because it couldn't have been a message. Well, now we know. Well, hey, thank you very much, man. That really does help a lot. Because <laughs> I was somewhat a little surprised with my last stream. Because I was like, oh, like, I didn't get one, you know? I was like, oh, I thought some people maybe would have done one. Um, but then uh, someone else did comment. They said something about they wanted to do it and it didn't work. And I was like, oh, well, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you for that. So I think they're active now. I don't know if the stream needs to restart or anything. But we'll leave it for now. It's all good. Appreciate it either way. All right. Uh, I don't need to zoom in on this chat even more. I feel like it's hard to read. I'm just getting old. X is just too small. At 150%, I'm struggling to see it. All right, we're back in. So that's the engineer district or part of it. So you can build a rail track through the... Uh, the... No, I don't need to do that. There's no point. Yeah, well, the, I don't mean to say there's no point. This the, what the challenge of this island was having the gas delivered here so that there's actually no need for a railway, practically at least. Obviously, you could have one going throughout. Hey, Dylan, appreciate it. There you go. That's the real first super chat. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, and I do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh-oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, in terms of, I like to balance... You know, aesthetics and practicality. And I think that's why some people like the series, I assume. <laughs> it's hard to know. But what I mean by that is, you could build completely aesthetic and just not worry about even filling households. But I do try to fill the households with everything like they need nearby, right? This guy has his members club, he has his bank. Uh, the challenge will be getting everything for the lifestyle, I guess. And an aspect of that, and keeping the city looking clean with no trains running through it, I thought it'd be kind of cool to just attempt to have the gas delivered here and make sure that the gas can reach everywhere. And that's actually one of the reasons I want attractiveness to go up. Because in our palace, as some people will know already, if you every prestige level you hit for attractiveness, every thousand, one thousand attractiveness, it kind of um, extends the range of your different buildings, depending on which different things you choose in here. So if we go to... This is attractiveness for town halls. That's all fine. Influence per zoom module. 32% chance of receiving visitors. This is, yeah. 16 productivity. Extra goods from farms. This is the one. So the Department of Welfare. We have a 16 area of influence for all public buildings. And that's coming from the Prestige 3. I think you get an extra, like, 2 or something for every Prestige level you hit. So it's only, like, 2 or 3 grid space, spaces. Not much. But it does matter. Because we actually desperately needed that when... Oh, my palace can actually grow. That's interesting. Um, we actually needed that back in um, Cape Trelawney a while ago. Yeah, it's tempting. It might actually bring the palace out further with some of like these things that stick out this way into the fountains or something. That might be kind of nice. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we'll just have a look at the engineers. Uh, Remy, appreciate the super chat as well. Refresh needed to get super chat ascending abilities. Oh, thank you. So yeah, if you're looking to be looking to support it's not necessary, but if you are looking to do that, you can always refresh your stream, and then hopefully the button will appear for those who want it. And Jay Hartby as well with another super chat. Damn. If you ever do merch one day, a t-shirt that says just for now, and other classic Darren gaming quotes. Yeah, that'd be fun. People did say that, like, oh, just for now. I like the idea of having my brand be for now, or just temporary, or something like that, yeah. Um, all right, we'll try to go through it a little quicker. And thank you, by the way, this is uh, quite a large donation as well, in my opinion. I'm level one with the palace. How to go up? To bring your palace up further. Well, there's a few. It's attractiveness. So, well, there's two things. If you want more modules, you need more population. So you hover over the module button, and it tells you the next population limit you need to be able to add another module. So then you can choose one of the modules to place down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then inside of the palace itself, if you go to the overview button. You'll have this sliding bar of attractiveness that I think goes up to 8,000 or 9,000, I would assume. And then every thousand you get over that counts as a prestige level. Now, don't worry about the prestiges for now. The most important thing is just getting the first 9,000 attractiveness. And that will fill up. As the bar goes across here, it'll get you, it'll give you the ability to choose these different things. You can only choose one in each category. Anyways, then if you do end up having them all, you'll prestige above that. And then you get little modifiers that give you a little bit more. So the prestige is giving me 16% productivity. If I was to lose attractiveness, 
Um, for instance, I could even just test it and cut off... Well, I won't bother. But if I cut it off, like, cut off a road from a zoo, for instance, this would fall down to, instead of saying 16, it might say, like, 8. Um, something like that, you know? Hopefully that answers the question. Just for now, t-shirt would be great. Yeah, I'm actually looking for... I'm not very good at art. I'm, I'm okay if I really spend a very long time. I can get away with doing some decent artwork, but I'm not, I'm not great. And uh, I was in the look, I was looking for a, an artist to work on channel branding with me. I'm offering $1,000 for anyone that's able to do what I want, basically. If you go to whatdarrenplays.com slash brand, there is a bunch of information there about what I'm kind of looking for. And you can email me and we can talk about we start working together, really. Um, so I haven't actually found anyone that's able to do it. Or two people were interested in it, but then they just kind of fell through. Like they didn't, I didn't, they didn't end up doing anything for, so, thankfully. Um, but it just ended up falling through for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, if you know any artists or anything like that, that would be, I'd like to get somebody who could do branding artwork and then could also potentially do stuff like merch or something. But merch is kind of, I think for a lot bigger channels, in my opinion. Um, Hey, no worries, Victoria. Thanks for the super super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, just for those who don't know, she said, thank you for the many hours of entertainment. All right, so that's kind of the engineers. We can see it all there. There's an eclectic little bunch. You know, we've got different variants of them. So we have the different variety packs here uh, for cosmetics, making them look a little bit different. These ones look a bit more eclectic. They're next to all the different restaurants. That's really nice. Then we have the sort of Central Park themed engineer district with raised and lowered different heights and stuff for them. That's kind of nice. Drugstore, supplying them all with what they need. Toasters, super important. Um, giving them a good time. Then we've got our scholar district. These are all engineers, but these are like my scholarly engineers. You know, it's trying to fit in with the scholar brick themed houses. So we've gone with the black tops and the red brick. Pretty happy with them. And they just have like little blocks, block after block. This is the university campus hospital. Excuse me. That's where obviously the scholars go to learn and practice medicine, become doctors. And then obviously out here we have our, well, inside the palace, we have our Oxford style palace wrapped around the university uh, in here, as well as different museums and whatever you'd call them, exhibits. And then scholarly houses, of course, more gas inside. And then outside the palace grounds, we have the botanical garden with every single unique object in the game displayed in there that could be. So I, and instead of going with sets, I really do hinder myself, instead of going with sets that give you bonuses, I ended up just choosing every single thing that has a unique 3D model. So I looked through everything in the game, and I made sure just to choose all the ones that have a unique one. The ones that don't have uniques are the ones that look like they're in like, um, like these things, right? They look like they're in little uh, buildings or whatever, so you can't see inside and see what they are. Instead, this is our open palace grounds where we can see everything, so it's quite nice. All these unique fountains, unique trees, and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. One of my favorite things that's put in the game, or I put in the game, in this layout, just because I struggled with it for such a long time, and then I managed to kind of get a layout that actually does look pretty good, where people can walk around, and it's all the unique, obje unique objects, and it fits really nicely in with the scholars and everything, so I was really chuffed when it kind of just lined up. And then the very last thing would be this little... Walk we have here at the end that takes you to the two vineyards that are supplying us with a bit of grapes. And that was allow allowed us to just fill up the modules of all the excess land around the side of the palace. And that's basically it. That's the layout of the town. So one of the things, the first things I want to move is this. Um, I was planning on putting it down here. So let's get started. We can actually start decorating and designing the city now. Let's catch my chat. Now the chat has slowed down a bit now so I can definitely catch it. So feel free to write what you want and I'll be able to catch it now. It's just what at the beginning, everyone's saying loads of stuff, so it's really difficult to see everything. And yeah, 69,000 subs. Let's just keep it there. <laughs> yeah, the bigger palace also gives better reach on the island. That's true. It's true. It's a good point. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's just get moving it. So this might disrupt some of the roots or something for a moment, but we'll have to do it. I'll just pull back for a sec. Bonk. So, in order to fit this, I'll probably have to destroy those buildings, unless it could just fit temporarily, no? No. So the trade routes are going to get deleted for a moment. Because the airmail sorting office is going to be removed. So I did have a look at this beforehand. I think this fits in here fairly nicely. That's the item transfer depot, and then we have the airmail sorting room. 
that's pretty cool as well. So we can have that right in here. It does fit quite nicely, but now it's the you know the challenge is dressing it up and making it look like it makes sense. Um, so the roots are having issues. So what we'll have to do with male roots that we're using this place. Just reassign it. I think that doesn't have a ship. Don't worry about logistics for today. It's really not a problem. That's dystopia. Oh no, it should just work, right? They should just know where they need to go now. That being said, there's like <laughs> all these old routes with ships that were destroyed a long time ago, but I think it does work now because it's just redirecting to here instead. Oh, we can do something over. I don't know what to do over there. ID is welcome. Okay, so this is what we'll have. So down near the docks is where our airships are going to come in, which kind of makes sense to me. I like the idea of that happening here. Airships would be better at high cliff, location where you'd want to put. Yeah, but I don't want to change this area. I think it looks really good, and that's like a high cliff. And then it's the same with this. Like, I'm not changing those two. You're, you're right. Thematically, it would obviously make sense to put it out of the city, to be honest, somewhere. <laughs> um, that's why it was just on the edge of the island over there. But I'm going to put it down by the docks, because I do think, like... Yeah, I don't know. I think it just... Location-wise, it makes sense. You could put it here, maybe, but I feel like that would be in next to a mountain. This one is a bit more open. So... I agree, it might not be 100% logical, but I'm happy with that location. I'm sticking to it. Um, let's just have a look at how these are facing right now. So these are kind of facing the wrong way, actually. Look at the airmail one on that side. Can that rotate? Yes, it can. Okay. Alright. Where did you say you come from? just opens up and it goes in like that. And then we have a fence that's locking us off from it. Maybe we could just open that up as well for a moment. This could be a road that leads around the back thinking about it. Something like that. Swap the airport and the exhibition. This one? I prefer where this is at the moment. I just, I don't know, because of where the mountain is, I just think it looks better that it's over here. Um, too bad they don't have an airship dock at the top of your skyscraper. Ha, <laughs> that'd be cool. But all the disaster music is playing. Alright. So my idea here is, actually what we could do is pave out an area, like a waiting area, over on this side. And what kind of room do we have on this side with it? Not much. Maybe this could just move over, actually. And then we've got a, a way in here. That makes sense? I think it makes sense. Doesn't have to be a road, though. Let's uh, improve this little area first. So this can come up to about there. Yeah. Right, so now the road actually connects and feeds onto Docklands properly. You we just added an extra tree. Credit for any find I make here. You want to settle on Cherbum, Cherbium 2. Where is this? Uh, yep, that's fine. Such impressive foliage. And I have you to thank. Alright, cool. Looking good, right? I think, anyway. A competitor raised a settlement. Yeah, that'll have to stay there. I guess I am okay with that. The grass is just growing right in front of it now, <laughs> for some reason. Okay, there we go. What about changing the church skin in one of the areas? Yeah, that'd be nice to use. Isn't there like an old world church now or something? What about this one? Yeah, I feel like that was for the old town pack. I don't know if that works or not. I feel like in this area it doesn't, because this one's colorful. We'll leave that yellow, but maybe the one up on the hill. That's kind of cool, because I feel like I'll change this area a little bit. Maybe we can put some more of the Old Town stuff up here. Yeah, that one looks good. And you got a new island, yes. Crownfall is so big and dynamic and has aesthetic value. That island's worth a try. I'm on Crown Falls. I've called it Crown Farms. It's where I do just massive farming and industry. I don't want it to be a big city. Everyone else does that. My channel's different that way. 
just it's the only one differentiator I have is everyone uses this to make like a massive massive island I use this just to have basically people living on these smaller islands and then everything else is reserved for farm space and industry there's <laughs> another one from the scenario playthroughs that you can unlock uh, I, don't, I haven't done those so I probably don't own them I think it would look good to separate the artisan cliffs yeah I agree yep Swords definitely changed a lot. I'm at episode 13. <laughs> yeah, this is totally different. Now there's no farmers. The old potato village is gone and lots of things like that. They've moved. All those guys have moved over this way. And they love it out here. They love it. <laughs> but we'll just stay focused on this place for now. So, yeah. So, okay. We'll leave those skins the way they are. The church skins, that is. Let me just focus then. I'm just, just going to focus on this bit for a while. Okay. So, we'll just do a little trial and error. No big deal. So I've moved this over. It gives us room for a road if I wanted one, but I'm thinking maybe just keep it with paving for, for a moment. And how much this will allow me just to get an eye on how much we can use here. So that could come up all the way to here if we wanted to. And I can even do that. It can, but we'd like to leave it open to have a little bit of a slipway into the water. So it's good to be able to see that. So it just gives me an idea of what can be placed here. Now, there's all these new ornaments for... Well, I say new. They're not that new now for the season pack for High Life. Sorry, Empire of the Skies. And we've got like a little waiting room. Seating areas, covered seats, airport signs, all this kind of stuff. What might be nice is to get the wall ornament. I struggle, since the UI's changed, I really struggle with finding things. The classic, and then we go in here, and this is the hedge ornament, and I want the wall variant, this one. So it would be something like that. That would have to come along here. Now we can bring it out though a bit more. It's a big restaurant and kind of like waiting area, I think. As people wait to get their flight. Okay, something like that. Just blocking it out at first before we figure out exactly how it's going to look. Now, there's a nice ornament as well in here, which is the, like, arrival sign? Airship platform arch. So maybe here, like, people going in, that's departures. Arrivals. Do you think people would get out here and then leave out? That's arrivals. It's kind of both. Because <laughs> they're going to be waiting here, but also I guess people probably come in this way. Maybe they go out that way. Hmm. Just another idea, super quick. Yeah, silver production. I will do the scenarios. My plan is to do the scenarios on either... I can't, probably won't be able to do them on the streams, because you really cannot look away or stop. And you can't do stuff while pausing, obviously, so... This is good for a stream, because I could just sit here and chat with you guys while doing this. There's no time pressure, really, anymore in the game. Um... But the scenarios, there'll probably be a mini-series or something on YouTube after I do just finish off this series. You want to live out on this island in the New World. It's really small. Yep, go for it. So good of you to save a secret garden just for me. I'm just kind of curious with this now. A competitor raised a settlement. Seasons. Oh, Empire of the Skies. Let me just move this here, because I'm obviously going to be using it a lot. Good. Ready. So, airship platform march. See, what I'm thinking is you could have it here instead. It's like the arrivals is out this way and departures is in that way where you go to wait. That could be the way we do it. And you could, everyone could just like maybe enter in here. Uh, I don't know. I'll just get rid of that. Can this be paved there? No. Oh well, that's a shame then. Okay, then in that case, I will probably move this over. Keep it like that, because I do like the space that it provides here. So what do we have? Cafes, murals for Empire of the Skies. Those murals could go on the opposite side here or something as well. That might be nice. 
All right, it would be nice to combine these with the tourist ornaments of the baggages. Yeah, totally. Yep, yep, perfect. Good, great idea. Inside of departures. So we have... Okay, let's just start then. So we'll just empty this out. Maybe this area will be more of the restaurant or whatever, and this area is more of the waiting area before you get right on. So we've got a seating area and covered seats. We'll just throw a few th things down, then we can start moving them in a moment. Just to get a feel for what they look like. Platform clock, maybe the clock on the way out. Although, it has seats around it as well. This one says cafe, I think, on it. It's really hard to see, actually. Oh, there's four different variants, that's why. Airport, air cafe. Move it back and make an entrance in front of it. Hmm. The problem with that is, it can't move any further back and have a wall at the back of it. Maybe that's not an issue? It would mean cutting this wall here. If it was to move back any further... Well then, these need to move forward. So if it was to move back like that, it could have a nice wall in front of it. This would still be open to the road. That road needs to... Uh, does it need, oh, maybe it doesn't need to be there, actually. Ooh, interesting. Maybe that doesn't need to be there at all. Like a king! They're not fully accessing the members club. That's why I need that um, attractiveness boost. Mm. I'm just not sure. I feel like you do this endlessly. Anyway, at a bus stop at the entrance. Bus stops are too big. Plus, I don't think I really need one, do I? There's a bus stop here. Good enough. This side needs to change as well, actually, just thinking about it. Dun, dun. This is all just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I could get too distracted going off and doing different things. I think I should just focus on the airport. For the moment. Okay. Right, anyways. <clears throat> um, I stress out of the scenarios, don't know why. Well, it's because time is moving and it's you, you really just... It's, it is stressful. <laughs> you gotta be quick. And you, gotta, you can't make any mistakes. You know, it's, it's, it's challenging. Um, just reading the chat. Have they made any additional story content like the Silver Production game? They've done other scenarios, but I haven't played any of them. So the, I've only ever played the si Silver one. I don't know. There's another one that's like a postal one. But again, and then there's Eden Burning, right? I don't know if they have story elements to them or not, but... If you put a cafe, restaurant, bar, you'll need to have them... It's not a real one. It's not a real one. It's just... I just mean, like, thematically with cosmetics. I won't be adding any more restaurants or anything like that. We've got the everything we need. They're empty at the moment, but every ingredient is being made on this island somewhere, and every drugstore is being made somewhere on this area. The idea being that you want to fill out the... Um, whatever it's called, the... What is this called? <laughs> this building. The Skyline Tower. The Skyline Tower needs to get 4,000. We had it at that before, but after the war, things have fallen. I'll get to that later. want to get the layout done first, and then we can start filling everyone. Because if I add more investors, this number won't, will change, so that doesn't matter. But um, yeah, for the most part, almost all the drugstores are getting everything they need. It's just um, one or two that aren't. So we've got 15 of them, and then I've got the same amount of whatever I needed for all the different ingredients for restaurants. So that's all done. No more actual restaurants. I was just saying, thematically, I want a restaurant in here. Yep. So good of you to save a secret garden just for me. And we'll get the layout good in a second. We're in the presence of a virtue. Jesus, people just won't leave me alone. Raised a settlement. Anyways, I come from Switzerland. You don't need to tell me where that is. I know where it is. <laughs> Can you please tell us how many hours do you play in this game? This one. How many hours in total in this game? In this campaign, I think there's... Yeah, it's 318, it says. Um, and the game in total... I don't know, nearly a thousand, I think? Something like that? All my time has actually gone into the save, but I reload the save a lot, so... 
the in-game time is only at 300. Often what I'll do is I'll do my time lapses and stuff in a different save. And then I'll reload back to... So if I'm building something nicely, like this, for instance. Um, I'll take a while to build it, I'll record it, and then I'll insert it into the video. But then I'll actually just build it by looking at a picture of it after the fact then. Because I've already done it. That way, keeping the game time low. And not letting, like, you know, if there's a war going on or other people expand to affect me. But late in the game now, it doesn't matter. I can just sit here and let time play and it doesn't matter. Can't watch not of this episode yet? That's a, yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> it's a spoiler for everyone else. Um, but yeah, no, trust me, I get the practicality of having an airport near big buildings. Well, first of all, I mean, London is a city with big buildings. There's an airport really close in there, but you know, that does happen. But we got to suspend our disbelief a little bit. I'm not, I'm not building a historically authentic city, you know. I'm building a city in Anno, and I'm trying to make it look nice. <laughs> um, so there's certain limits that we just have to obey by. It's night here in Asia right now. Yeah, it's like 3, 4 o'clock here for me. Research queue is blocked. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Why would it be Some blocked? Very promising ideas floating around oh, we're waiting for the development speed to come back up. That's fine. Okay, anyways, um, so that's our entrance in. We're going to be walking in, turning the corner, and let's have a look at the tourist um, cosmetics as well. So the pedestrian zone pack might have some interesting things as well. The toilets, for instance, would be a good one to keep. Tower bridge, no, the enclosed greenery might be a good one to use at some point. Uh, so I'll just put that down as well. Actually, the underground toilet as well, maybe. I think we're fine then elsewhere, and this is actually pretty good too. Oh, I know it would be nice. Spotlights as well for the uh, airships that are kind of coming in. So city lights, always like to use these. They've got little bar stools and stuff as well. So couples table, sandwich shack, solitary table, city light, telephone box. Yep. The regular city light. That's a pretty nice one. Might go on the outside somewhere. Just putting things down that I know I'm going to grab and then I'll move them. Guy with balloons. Bar tables. The bar tables are good. Everything. That one's always a really weird one in this pack because it stands out. All right, so in the seasons, got our Empire of the Skies. Anything in New World Rising? No. High life. The spotlights. Yes. Large spotlights, please. Hot air balloon. Yeah, maybe actually. Um, fountains and stuff. Not really. The lamppost. No. I think everything else is fine in that pack. Tourist season. So yeah, there's going to be a few things here. So postcard vendor. Souvenir shop. The street map. As you get out into the street would make sense. Somewhere there. We just put one of these down as well. Temporarily. And... So we've got a lookout point. Photography nook. Wooden pavilions while people wait. Signposts that take you to the nearest hotel. And then we need the luggage and baggage. Uh, so luggage carts. And luggage. Alright, so those are the ornaments I'm mostly probably going to use for this. Now I just need to kind of arrange them in a, in a fashion that makes sense. Um... Yeah, interesting. All right, we'll put our spotlights there. And then at night time, we'll be shining up on the uh, on the airships as they come in. All right, thank you very much. You're an excellent teacher. Cheers from Argentina. No problem, Lissandro. Enjoy the stream, Darren and everyone. See you later, Emil. I really love your construction. Thanks, well, that's, uh, well Taz. Sorry. <clears throat> it's only 10 a.m. for me, 11 here. Yeah, I think it's like nearly 4 for me. Oh, 3 a.m. Wow. Have a good one. Thanks for the super chat and stuff as well. Appreciate that. And for being a channel member. Jay Hartby. Uh, I'm guessing you're playing some sort of creative mode, right? No, I'm playing the normal game. This is just a normal game. This is a continuation of my series and my Let's Play. 
But we're so late in the game now. I've got no real competitors or problems. I can just sit here and just focus on the aesthetics. All I plan to do on this stream is just do aesthetics. And then the next proper episode, which will be episode 108, um, then I'll start working on logistics again. But I just thought this would be a fun little stream to do some of the aesthetics and chat with you guys and get some ideas and stuff. Yeah, the spotlights do look great in the dark. So I normally play by the game with letting time play. So during the night, these will kind of come on. You can actually change them to only stay static as well if you wanted to. So if you change their variant, they lock in place. And you could obviously, you know, flip them around if you wanted to or whatever. Um... But yeah, because this place has naturally has spotlights, I think it'll kind of complement it quite well. But I'll probably face them to inwards. And just let them move a bit. There is a smaller variant as well. But that's kind of already using the small variant inside, so we'll leave it as is. Alright, cool. Okay, so let's imagine, right? We get off the boat, <laughs> we get off the airship, and we're coming in into arrivals and departures, really. It's a shame it says departures here. It'd be nice if it said departures on the way in or, and arrivals on the way out or something. Oh, I know what we could do. We could actually have it this way. And have this say arrivals. So it doesn't maybe thematically make sense, but it will make sense for us. Okay. Yeah, a little tree right there. Perfect. Spotlights won't be shining into it anyway. Uh, we'll just have to put paving down for the moment. So we know that that's just like the walkway. People walk in or they walk out. Whatever way you want to think about it. And we could use, actually, instead of using this... We could use that boulevard. Boulevard I tend to use in a lot of different places. And it can look quite good. Unfortunately, it's just going to run into a sign where we can't bring the boulevard through it. But something like that. Um... Yeah, we can't build there. That's okay though, right? What can I say? I'm the giving type. Hmm. Hard to know what to do with that little crevice there. Should we just leave it? So we, uh, it has, it counts as um. I know what it could do. It could do something like that. And that could just come forward further. Jerry Kirchhoff, hey! Oh my god, wow! You gifted five memberships. Awesome, thank you. I don't know if it tells us who they went to, does it? Oh, it does. The names are popping up. Oh, sweet. Thanks very much, Jerry. Really do appreciate that. So one of them's gone to Vincenzo, another to Tyler Miller. Oh, those are two extra gifts. Oh, so you gifted five and then you gave two more, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then it says Tyler Miller renewed their membership. Now I'm kind of confused. <laughs> I'm guessing it was five in total because five names have popped it up, unless you're still gifting. It's hard to tell because of the, the way it's displayed. So it says five up on top, but it doesn't show me the five names. But then you, I can see the five names now below. Vincenzo Tyler, uh, Shub, Shubham Thakur. Dexasaurus, Mario May. And then we got a super chat from Weltas. Do you know the Anno 1800 Street View mode? Oh yeah, sure I walk around in my videos with it all the time. Um, but yeah, here's something that maybe you guys might like to know. Just very quickly. I appreciate that, Jerry, by the way. Really, really helpful, so thank you. And for the super chat as well, Weltas. Um, but yeah, for those who don't know, I have a video called Do You Know Anno? And I guarantee you, even if you're a seasoned veteran like myself, you might come across something in there that you haven't seen before. Um, I'll just... Hello, everyone. Whoops. Sorry, that was very loud. Um, I don't actually have a screen capture on this, do I? Let me see. Oh, I do. Here we go. Add the existing display capture. Boom. Now you're seeing what I'm seeing. Um, this video here, do you know Anno 1800? Tips, tricks, and how-to. And one of the big ones is you can go into first person, obviously, and walk around, and you get different quests to do, and you can interact with quests, and you can even change the weather if you complete these quests and different things. Uh, you can even drive the tractors and stuff like that, so yeah. But there's loads of little um, tips and tricks in this video, for those who don't know, and I'll just link it in the chat for those who maybe are curious. Uh, 
And that's what it looks like thumbnail-wise as well. Wow, that guide video of mine is up to nearly a million. Jesus. Insane. It's crazy that not many people even play this game. All right, let's hop back in. Got to turn off that display capture, actually. There we go. All right, I'm back. Uh, so, uh, question. Now that main development is wrapped up and the console edition is out, what do you expect we can hear? Some when do you expect we can hear something? I really don't know. Like, I I used to work at a developer, but it, they operated quite differently than it seems that these guys do. But I have no experience when it comes to really judging this particular guess. My guess would be... So it's 2023 now, Mar March. I really don't think you'll even get an announcement until like March 2024. Because I, the reason I say that is one of the developers said that they were all in on doing all the DLC and the console port and they're only really starting onto the next project now. Now you'd have to imagine what I would assume is that designers were designing out the next game for a while, you know, getting the concept art, the design phase, that can last a long time. And then when you're ready, you go, okay, here we go. And you put everyone on it. Now let's make the thing. I like to think at least they're not sitting around waiting, guessing what they should be making, that kind of thing. That should hopefully all be done now. And they should be just onto main production soon for the next title. So how long does it take for them to make a game? I would assume between one and two years at the least uh, for a game like this. But it depends. I really don't know. So hopefully it's sooner than that. But I think my reasonable guess would be you'll hear around March next year what it is. And then maybe it's out later that year. That would be my guess. Everyone needs to ask them to do a Roman Anno, please. So that I can have that. <laughs> All right, so there's our little, we step on, off we go. This just goes straight as well. That's actually super interesting. The gravel like blends onto that. Most things don't blend in this game. And then you hit your departure sign. Hmm. Maybe I'll put the departure sign just one bit further in. So the path can really guide you in there. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I did like the slipway, but we've got one over on this side, I think. Yeah, this is where people have their boats and oops, some fishing traps and stuff. This needs to be decorated a bit, but the idea is that they should have access onto the water, you know, pushing a boat, uh, which they do. All right, so if we were to hop down, bonk. Here we go. Off we're going to departures. <laughs> All right, cool. It works. Uh, okay, so once you get into the main area, then... Yeah, it makes more sense actually not to continue the path. We'll just change it to that. So that's the path on the way in, and then you're just in. That makes more sense, because that way then this doesn't look like it's separating a path for some reason. It looks more part of it. All right, so a souvenir shop. I think you'd be hit with the shop on the way out. Face it that way. Maybe we could turn it sideways, actually. Yeah, like this. Uh, do you know you can, do you, you can go in the hot balloon? Uh, in Street View, yeah. yeah. You also used to be able to go up the, um, this thing. But I think they got rid of that. Which I don't know why. A little propaganda, no problem there. Anything else? Then I'll send it out. Let's check this out. So, back in the day, when this DLC first released, you could go in here, and it would play, like, music. Oh yeah, it's working. Hey, there we go. You can't really see out very well, though, but I think you can when you get to the top. I wonder what that says. Let me get out here. I actually can't get out here, so... But it's gonna go further.
There's one easter egg I still haven't seen yet. Apparently there's a guy in Manola that says something or does something if you interact with him. Uh, from New World Rising, but I haven't seen that yet. Someone in the comment told me, but they didn't actually tell me everything that happens. They just said, look for this guy. <laughs> Such a long elevator ride. <laughs> Hopefully the view will be worth it. That might be as high as we go. Can we get off? I can't get off. And then back down we go. So that, that is it. <laughs> it's kind of a nice idea, though. Alright, there we go. Okay. Uh, right, so that's our clock tower as well. That can go something like that. We'll start moving these things around now, making some space for this. Question is, yeah, so now that we've moved this forward a bit, there's no possibility having the fence go around the back because it's locked in. But there is stuff that we can put at the front, but yeah, not feeling it as much. I'm gonna instead just do it the way I had it. I need to be that guy. Unless I could move the road down along here, maybe. Wouldn't mind doing that, I guess. Let's just see what that looks like really quickly. Now I've brought it forward, that means I can still put this at the back if I wanted to, which looks just a little bit neater, I think. Um, but it does mean that that road has to turn... ...there, which looks a bit strange, I think. Yeah, can't be dealing with that. Alright, so we'll just leave it the way it was. It's all in the eye of the beholder, there's no right or wrong answer, it's just, you know, I can give me a bit particular with certain things and I think, yeah, you know what, I just think this looks a little nicer. And we'll put trees and stuff along this canal. There's a lot to do, actually. I really need to speed up. This is just one area. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, we come in. There's the spotlights. There's a little tree guarding us there. There's a souvenirs for on the way out. That's totally fine. This can doesn't need to be there. Uh, postcard vendor, in case just as you're coming out, you're like, hey, don't forget. Get your souvenir stuff. Uh, so this is like, a yeah, we get rid of that one. That's fine. Alright, cool. So this will be the waiting area then. And then we've got luggage piles. So luggage piles, I guess, kind of close to the... Close over towards this direction makes sense. So maybe just left there. And we've got little waiting area. So you're going to wait in your little shelter. Uh, maybe we could go with a little flagpole in there or something. Or, yeah. Oops. This one could be the one that says airport. Okay. Am I missing chat or is it just stopped moving by the way? No, oh, yeah, it's just stopped moving. That's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. I was just making sure I haven't missed anything. Um, if you put the arch on the side, I would move it back and put the fence in the back. Oh yeah, that's basically what I've ended up doing, right? Well, kind of, yeah. <clears throat> I hope the skyscrapers have faster elevators. Yeah, I know, right? They probably don't, considering the era. Hey, this little guy's driving all the way in there. That's funny. Back in my day, a ship was a ship. That thing is a flying cucumber. I guess it's the airships. Alright, so looking good there. This is all nice and clean. So we want our cafe over in this area. So there was an actual air cafe thing. Airship platform cafe. Oh, unfortunately it's not going to be super nice and even placement. Oh, that won't be too bad. Oh yeah, and then we could have this open area to go out and get on the balloon. That's kind of neat. We even move that down a bit. Yeah. Right. Get rid of this. We'll 
We'll go with blue. Alright, so we have our toilet there as well. And there's our telephone box. So making our important calls. Maybe waiting people waiting there can go there. People can make their important calls. I missed my flight, or my flight's been delayed. That kind of thing, around the back. So our tables and chairs. So the cafe is there. People would need to be able to see the clock. Clock's got to be in the center then, roughly. Actually have an underground toilet there. Don't know if we need the underground toilet. We have the overground one. Alright, two different types of toilets for people. Uh, the wooden pavilion for people to watch and wait. So let's bring... That's our enclosed greenery. I probably won't use that actually. We'll use these instead. And to be honest, this fence has so many trees on it. I don't think I really need even little extra trees in here. So that can probably go. At least they have elevators. How about using that telescope type building? Telescope type building. You want me to interact with the hot balloon? Okay, we'll do that in a second. The airships will hit drive direct. Nah, they'll be fine. They'll get clearance before they land. You'll have an errant wall behind the balloon ride. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. The telescope type building. The are you talking about the university? If there's another one that I'm not aware of, let me know. Uh, yeah, so we could interact with that thing. I have to wait for it to land, don't I? I don't think I can interact with it now. Must have to wait. Alright, um, so yeah, tables and chairs for people to... But maybe closer to the actual cafe, it's more the dining table, or the um, bar tables. And then a bit further back, it's the proper tables and chairs. I feel like that's just quite close for... That's the seats for people to wait, actually. It's not actually for eating food, yeah. They can just go here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Should be relatively orderly, I think. Uh, this pavilion can go. Don't think I'm going to use it. Alright, just to get the place looking a little cleaner for a second. Alright. <clears throat> you have an incorrect wall segment behind your balloon ride. Ah. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's what you're talking about. It. Sorry, my bad. Alright, it's landed. Let's see if we can get on. Are you sure I can interact with her? I can't seem to. I'm left clicking. Oh, I know more Twitch. I do do Twitch. I was on Twitch on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. <laughs> Monday I streamed here on YouTube. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I was on Twitch. And then today again I'm on YouTube. I'm doing both. See, I'm not sure well does if you can interact or not. but Because uh, I've never have actually. But I don't seem to be able to. I left clicked it and didn't do anything. Um, Alright, get more of these bar tables. Just scatter them around like that for the cafe. Alright, any ideas guys? What else could go maybe in somewhere around this area? Thanks very much, no worries. Um, we could maybe build the boulevard that just goes through. Just see what that looks like, even really quickly. That was a nice kind of filler. And just get rid of some of the tables and chairs. Get some rest. It's going to be a long voyage. Still use them, but just not in those exact places. Maybe one there. I look a bit strange. Any ideas? Uh, I really like that you stream on YouTube. Yeah, well, the idea at the moment is just to try it out, see how it goes. 
and also just stream games that make sense here. Like, I have an Anno series, so it makes sense to stream Anno here. I have a Satisfactory series, so it makes stream sense to stream that. Um, whereas if I'm just trying other games out randomly, maybe I'll just do that on Twitch. I'm delighted to hey, G4E. Our new Thanks for the kind words. Any of the nighttime decorations that match your spotlights? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, there is the... Like, the city lights. The bar tables are lit up naturally anyway. Hmm. Perhaps an information type desk. Yeah. Let's have a look, I guess. So, if we go to our cosmetics. Amusement park, city lights, pedestrian. Let's just see. Is there anything else in here as well? Sandwich shack, couples tables, solitary tables, family tables. Sand pits and stuff. More telephones. It doesn't have to be just one of each. You know, you can always have multiple things um, to help out. I'm kind of tempted to do this, which is change that to there. Move the telephone box over there. Put another light here, maybe. They're both lit up. Telephone box there. Uh, there is a drinks shack. That could be nice. I'll just pop that down for a moment as well. We don't need you dragging us dead. Maybe a fa uh, I'm I'm kind of against fountains. I don't know why, but uh, I like fountains when they're out, like in an open, real open public space. I guess you can argue like that is as well. So fountains and stuff that would be around a big area like this or around this, or like for instance, I've got fountains over here, and I think that works great. It's a real opulent thing. So I'm just not sure I'd want to have a fountain. Although I think there are probably fountains in airports. Yeah, so I do use them. I try and I try to stay away from using them too much. What do you guys think about that pathway thing? I'm a little undecided about it. Or unconvinced, I guess. Because the pathway could still come down. Whoops. Come down this way still. You know, and then it is like connecting in. The wine and cider bars, they've got a different issue actually. Which is that they don't really f fit on white tile, I don't think. Maybe they do have the alternate. Let's see. Um, so that's in the wine and cider bar. Oh yeah, I forgot about our um, dragon garden ornaments. Oh man, it's so difficult to remember where all these things are. So it's not a cosmetic pack, no? Industrial zone, seasonal... There it is, seasonal decorations. Yeah, they sit on grass. But the wine ones, you're right, don't. And the festival tables don't. Small wine stand, large stand. Hmm. There is vineyards on this island, so it makes sense to be like, hey... You know, we have a little wine stand for you to try things. Something like that, maybe. <laughs> Um, I think also just generally, I'd like to have more of these seats and trees. Let me have a look. I think the change in color on the path, but the white curb on the edge is an issue for me. The white curb on the edge is an issue for you. Oh, do you mean this on the fencing? I like the change in color on the path, but the white curb on the edge. Yeah, so there's an issue, kind of, well, not an issue. These things can have a grass bottom to them. But it's on both sides, so you gotta pick your poison, you know, it's like... Um, I think up here I used the grass ones. And they look okay. But I don't think they would look good here, because the inside would be grass touching... piling. I think I like what you had before. I think I've already forgotten what I had before. <laughs> you mean just no, no path? The only question I asked was what did you think of that path, specifically, before I, I get confused. Um, Oh yeah, the newspaper stand. Great idea. That's such a, a standard ornament, but it's a good one to choose. And I forgot, actually, we've got the the Morris column. That might be a nice one to have as well. Like a little information thing. I'll just move this for a moment. Might use it, don't know, just yet. But I like those kind of that, like information thing, even though it does just say Anoholic. Um, what else do we have? We've got the billboards, we have flags. Flags actually would kind of make sense as well. Empire of the Skies billboards. The billboards I, I plan on putting kind of out here, maybe. 
So that's just special ornaments. So we want to use classic ornaments, pleasant park. So we've got the newsstand. But there's a newsstand, yeah, this one, that's on the tiles. Tell you what, pop that in there, pop that in there. All right, so now just have a quick look. If we were to walk in this way, for instance. In less than two days. We walk in, we have our spotlights, we've got a little tree, we have our souvenirs, more souvenirs, postcards, that kind of thing. You come in, there's people leaving their luggage to be attended to, people leaving oh, luggage heaven. by the waiting the areas. We then have the newsstand, some little information bulletin, and then it's like the drinks area, right? We can have the, we can move that wine stand a bit further up, but drinks area, people chilling. Bath is such uneven ground here, by the way. Um, the bathrooms and so on and so forth. More drinks. I'm pretty happy with this. This is pretty good. I don't think it's lacking too much anymore. Can't get on that. God damn it. <laughs> and then a balloon stand if you want to just go up in the sky and see things. Feels like there's still a little bit of empty space we could do something with. What is that circular raised platform with the crane? Can't say I've seen it in game before. The circular raised platform with the crane. This is a an airship platform. The whole thing is um airship platform. It came with the Empire of the Skies DLC. If you want to have airships landing, you need one of these. I like the white path from the arch better. Looks less disconnected. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I do agree. What do you think? Get rid of this path then? This path here? That goes inside? Hmm. I almost want to take a vote on that one. Are you recording this stream? This stream will be available on YouTube after it's done. It won't be available instantly, but probably a couple hours afterwards. Uh, I'm not recording it though myself. I'm not going to make a time lapse of it or anything. I haven't built any infrastructure. Yeah, no worries. Well, even in the new world, you need this airship platform, don't you? Or maybe not. I thought you did. I guess you don't. They just go to... The docks, either way, don't they? Oh no, they do, they do, they do. Yeah, it's just, I guess it does look different though, you're right, yeah. Same sort of thing though. No path? Maybe grey pedestrian path? Hmm. Yeah, we could try to have a look at that. It would be a different path, which would be a reason why it's kind of separated. Could almost do it the other way around. Um, thoughts? <laughs> Platform is only required for mail. Yeah, you only need it if you want to deliver mail. Um, and to deliver mail, you need the mail sorting office as well for this building. I'm going to have a gap between them for people to walk through. This is the same. I've only built the airships. Haven't done anything. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I'm not as big a fan of the grey path. Although I think the grey path would make more sense leading out. And the boulevard one looks in good inside. So maybe I'll just swap them. I think it looks good that it has an end there, but uh, here it doesn't really need one. Yeah, other way might be better. Alright, let's just try this one more time.
Has anybody picked up Anno 1800 on console? Out of curiosity, and if so, what do you think? Might integrate them into the Vista, Vista like you've done. They look quite nice. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So basically what we've just done, we've added this place. We've added a little area where they kind of have get their drinks and stuff. I think I will do this. So that wine bar can go over there as part of the cafe, maybe some sort of part of it, you know. Um, stuff on the left, though. What could we have here? Maybe get rid of this, push this down so there's space over that way. Yeah, there's still room for other things. Looks a little bare still. I mean, you could just put more st uh, drink stands down. What else do we have? Cafe tables. Cafe tables. Oh, I actually haven't added any cafe tables. We could add some of these, see what they look like. These are different. These are the bar stools from the amusement pack. The fire left ruins behind. Maybe you could turn some of them sideways. Don't know. <laughs> it's difficult. Uh, G3, hey, thank you very much for the super chat. I know you don't like to talk much about this, but where is the most beneficial to you? Supporting you here or bits on Twitch? Um. You know what? I actually don't fully know. I think technically on Twitch bits so it's interesting it's it's kind of 50 50. if you become a sub on twitch it's a 50 50 breakdown for 50 percent of the money goes to the streamer so let's say you do a five dollar twitch subscriber then the the twitch streamer gets two dollars fifty and amazon gets the other two dollars fifty but if you do bits i think something like a thousand bits is ten dollars but you pay like ten dollars fifty or something like that but your bits count as the full $10, if you know what I mean. So you pay a little extra, and that little extra goes to Amazon. But the rest of the $10 still stays in your wallet as bits that you give to a streamer. Um, so it's kind of complicated. <laughs> uh, super Chats, I'm not entirely sure, but I think Super Chats are 70-30. The YouTube takes 30%. I think. I actually don't know this for a fact, but I'm sure if you just Google it, it'll give you the answer. Uh, this is my this is basically first time streaming, you know, second time streaming. So I think it's 70-30. My whole thing is always just support where you want to. I know I know people have that thing of like, oh, I want to make sure as much is going to the streamer. And that, that is great. But you should, in my opinion, just do it where it's most convenient. And don't worry about how much is going to the streamer. It, it, doesn't, it shouldn't matter to you. It's just where you want to get your content, where you want to see your content. That encourages me you know to go there i never look at like oh where am i getting the most and i'll go there i do it where it's i get the most people or people are most willing to give money or donate or support or whatever it might be or just even view it's not just all about money either um because the good, good other good thing about youtube is your views you know i'll be these will stay up on youtube and they act like a video so it, it's good that way whereas twitch deletes all their past broadcasts so it's really complicated there's lots of different things um so don't worry about it, basically. <laughs> uh, but thank you, G4E. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, so what was that question? Can you do the Manola Easter egg? Yeah, I haven't ever seen it before. We could do that on stream, I guess. I know on console I considered it, but decided against because of the no DLC being supported. Having all the lovely optimizations on PC makes it a far better game than on console, in my opinion. You say optimizations, I imagine it actually runs really well on console from, or I mean, I don't imagine. I've heard it runs really well on console, so it's quite, probably quite optimized. Whereas for me, like the game is quite laggy, you know, and I've got an RTX 3090 and an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Now, it's a beautiful looking game, so I can't fault it too much and it has improved. Um, but it actually used to run better, but then there was some sort of I think it might have been a Windows update that actually made it run worse for me, and I had to drop it back down from DX12 to DX11. Anyway, long story short, it uh, doesn't run as well as it used to for some reason, even on the same save file. Anyway, 30% 30% taken from YouTube when it comes to Super Chats. Yeah, I think YouTube's whole thing is just it's a 70-30 split across the board no matter what, whereas on Twitch it's 50-50, but, but bits are like a whole separate currency thing. Um, and then you can have tier 2 and tier 3 subs on Twitch, which act differently. 
a tier three sub on Twitch, it's it has to be twenty five dollars. You can't set the amount. So a tier three sub on Twitch is seventy thirty, but a tier one sub, a five dollar sub, is fifty fifty. Um, on YouTube, you can actually make your own tiers, which is awesome. But it's all seventy thirty. The split's always the same. But you can just decide how much. So I've got a tier. You could be a channel member for one ninety nine on my channel. I think. Um, so yeah, because it's for me, it's definitely like better for volume. I'd rather more people can get in at a dollar or thereabouts than a few people get in at five, you know? Um, because it's just more consistency. Anyway, uh, I meant optimization in terms of gameplay. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, right, right, right. Of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, playing without Bright Harvest, that must be tough. <laughs> it's kind of hard to imagine doing it any other way. Anyways, all right, we're almost done. I'm feeling fairly good about the place. Although I just feel like it's difficult because we're on a grid to get this like little bar area to really look quite right. Should it all just be one big group with a few tables spamming out on the sides? Maybe. I'll tell you what, actually, I got an idea. Maybe the tables that are against the walls are like that. And the tables that are in the center are circular tables, right? Because they could be from any direction. That's big brain stuff right there. And I'll just clear those two. So, we'll leave it like this. Turn that one sideways. All right. Something you could just drop around the place is just bits of luggage as well, because I feel like that makes sense in and around these tables. People just throwing their stuff together, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Take a path towards the bar. Yeah. I thought about it. thought about going to the toilets as well. Just nothing could be on the path. And it had to be like separated. I don't think it would look good. This is the bar, if you know what I mean. This is like the whole bar area. I don't think you need a path going straight to the bar. Social distance tables, that's funny. COVID safe. Well, it's an open air bar. It's totally fine. Um, maybe the new big tree ornament in the center. Ooh. So I actually have that though already, I think, don't I? Oh, maybe I didn't use it. Yeah, that might be cool. Yeah, I thought I used it. That actually might be quite cool. Let's see. Is it, Are you talking about the one from Eden Burning? Special. This one, right? Oh my, it's huge though. <laughs> it's too big. Nobody will be able to have any food. Yeah, it's far too big. It does look nice though. I mean, it maybe could even fit there. And you could just have all the tables around it. Let's have a look. Let's just try it out. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll just copy and paste this and we'll just use it somewhere else in a moment. Uh, if we need to grab it again, it's just over there if we want to redo this. So. so massive table to tree. Uh, yeah, and trees and stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't really line up with this either. So. Don't think it's going to really work. Properly. <laughs> nice idea though, but it's just a bit too big. Scale that down to half its size, and I think that would have worked quite well. But on the left side, outside, there's not enough room. Not enough room. This looks so barren now, in comparison. But maybe something along those lines is a good idea. So what else do we have? We have the globe fountain. Traveler's Kiosk. Anno Tours, it says. This one with tables around is super nice. It's too big! The, the, the tree? That was way too big. Have the path go around the drink stand. Do the balloon lift, maybe? 
Yeah, maybe. That'd be weird. Is that weird? I feel like it's weird. <laughs> I don't mind the path thing though. There's a lot of area covered by path though for no re real reason I feel like. Hey, Harry Moynan. Hi. Hi Jerry, how you doing that? He's just tagging you. He's going at Harry Moynan. And hello. Um, the tree from the autumn pack. Oh, the Hildegarden thing. Is that the one? This thing? That's a maypole. Flower shop. Am I missing it? I'm not too sure what tree we're talking about. The autumn pack. Yeah, I, I, I agree with the too much path. I'll probably reduce it back down a bit. Industrial zones. It's not going to be that. There's the old town pack, the Hildegarden tree, but that doesn't blend with tiles very well. We just got the new... Actually, a wishing tree from the... That's kind of cool. From the new dragon ornament pack. What else? A gong. That statue's pretty cool. Stone line. Yeah, I'm kind of out of ideas for that then, in terms of trees. I'm going to remove this path, it was too much. I'm taking a really long time on this. Hope people don't mind. Alright, we'll just fill that back in. Leaving the toilets where they are. There's too many tables now. I do like the idea of having this clock one in the center and all these tables, but... Actually, not that bad, actually, thinking about it. I use the globe near all my old world airports. Yeah, I've been... I Where do I use them? Near the banks, I think. I usually typically use... Um, the globes, yeah. Reminds me of like a world stock exchange type thing. The one from the autumn pack looks like a bell. I don't know what the autumn pack is. Is Are we talking seasonal decorations pack? That looks like a bell. I'm just not sure. I don't know, maybe there's another pack I'm not thinking of. Is this, you say autumn pack, but there's also Christmas and stuff in this pack, so, you know, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, sorry if I'm getting it wrong. Like, it looks like a bell. So there's a floral arch. This kind of looks like a bell? It's a... I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, there's this giant Christmas period. It's a Christmas-themed thing. Yeah? How do you think the game would run with the 20... Uh, 1920... Right? I have no idea, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a 3090. I can only tell you how it runs for me. Um, and my city's at 120,000 population. The bigger it gets, the slower it runs. So it, it also just depends on, like... How, what kind of gameplay, what kind of style of game you're going for. If you're going for a mega population build, it's just, it's just going to slow down. Um, but for me, like, this game runs pretty well. Maybe, well, I say pretty well. It's maybe, like, I can't actually check my frame rate right now, but it's like 40 FPS. Like, it's not that good. But I do have, my settings are, like, all pretty much maxed out. I'm on 1440p. Um, 
I don't even know why my anti-aliasing is up so high, but it, my CPU is good enough where it just doesn't make a difference. Um, but yeah, some things have been turned down. Feedback quality is one that really hurts. Um, I have it on very high rather than ultra high, and that's just how many people are walking around. That's what feedback quality is. So yeah, V-Sync helps me as well. I played around with the settings for a long time, uh, a while ago, when the, the frame rate went down. There was a Windows 11 update a while back, I'm talking a few months, where I took a significant FPS hit. Massive. And actually, just unplayable. It, the game would load really slowly, and it was a DX12 issue. So I used to be on DX12, which ran really well. I used to get like at least 60 FPS almost all the time. If you go back to older videos, maybe like the episode 60 era of videos, the game's running so good. Um, but then there's a Windows 11 update, and the game did not update, so I can't blame Ubisoft. Nothing really changed for them. But that update crushed my DX12 support, and I got the latest drivers, and I tried holding off on the update, but eventually it just happened. And, uh, yeah, I'm left with it the way it is now, which is fine, but not as good as it used to be, so. Anyway, I run the game pretty well with the 2060... S. I turned down some settings. I've never made it to late game though, so that might be, yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't really feeling the, the little tree thing from the seasonal pack. I'm pretty happy with this, although I do just feel like there's something just a little not right about it, and I don't know what that is. I feel like it's just missing something. It could even have just small things, like these trees can fit in, in other little spots. Just fill up the area a bit. Like here maybe or something, I don't know. I had to quit my main game, hello Sam. Uh, I had to quit my main game, became too big for my old PC, totally clicked my 16 gaps. Yeah, so this game has an interesting kind of uh, issue, which is it consumes a ton of memory, like just a huge amount of RAM. Well, I've got 32 gigs, but what will happen for some people, it goes even over 32 gigs, and what it ends up doing is it uses your hard drive space to store up memory, um, even like temporary memory. And it'll delete it all when you're done. But some people will like see their hard drives getting maxed out while they're playing, which is interesting. Uh, or SSDs. You have a lot of tables. Yeah, it's probably a bit too much, but I just don't know. It looks really patchy if I start getting rid of a few. But let's get rid of that one and that one. And maybe... Don't know. This one. These ones are just a bit too close to the thing itself. Could have something like that, maybe. So I kept these in a line. They're like sort of the border for the air cafe. I'm okay with that. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think it's probably fine. It just seems like a little empty in certain places. You know what would be good here? Photography nook. That might be nice. So cosmetic. We'll go with... Uh... No, it's not a cosmetic. It's tourist season. And then we get the photography nook. Come get your picture taken as you go up into the balloon. Anything else? There's the luggage carts, we've used that already. The parasols for... Yeah, we don't need any of that. Where did you say you come from? suppose this is a bit of an empty space, they could have something else there instead. Tourist season flag. <laughs> we have a postcard vendor, we have the souvenirs. That's all done. That statue might actually be nice in there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So basically just did all this area. I know it's a bit squiggly, but, it's, you know, what can I do, really, about that? I like the, um, the spotlights. You could get rid of the spotlights and just push the fence forward. That look a little better, maybe, just as a test? we do that. So it's a bit more like uniform, I suppose. Maybe the spotlights could go on the outside. No, that would look strange, yeah. The 
put some sort of trees there if you wanted to kind of mask things a bit. Did like the spotlights though. Alright, I'm looking for a specific tree, and it's the... They've changed the map around. There we go, it's, they're in here. So for some reason, there's a tree in here, but there's also just like a bunch of trees in here. <laughs> anyway, the elm tree is the one I wanted. Yeah. Do they have... Uh, I guess not, actually. I'm thinking of one that has like a bunch of different variants. Oh, it's the, this one. That's it. Because some of them are actually just shrubs. There's 16 variants. Yeah, so that one could just be like that. Looking good. What do you reckon about the spotlights? Should the spot should should the spotlights come back? Should the spotlights maybe be at the back of here? I don't know. But I might leave it at that. Might just leave it at that and say that's pretty much that area. I mean, we still have to kind of figure this little section out. It could just be a road. I mean, it was a road before. And then this needs a road on this side. It's a surprise inspection. That was a little post box. Hmm. Weird area for a post box, but I guess I was trying to get some extra mail from those houses. Let's just leave it for now. Figure out where to put that in the future. So this one's a grass one, this one's a white tile one. So maybe I'll use the grass one after we leave, turn the corner here. And these will just have to somehow try to pretend like they join together. There we go. Now we got a situation where the airmail sorting office and the item transfer depot are there. And then as you walk up, you get to the fire station. Fire station now has better access as well to these houses and stuff. Cool. Yes to the spotlights. A secret chess table in the back. Ooh. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of neglecting some of those uh, ornaments that are like the basic ones, but a chess table would be kind of cool, actually. I agree with the spotlights. I think I will put them back. Sorry for being, like, indecisive, but that's what it's all about. Just getting your feedback, trying to be a little creative and seeing what we can get done. Uh, I vote for the spotlights. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so... I'm looking for cosmetic, to introduce our new colleague. classic, I mean, <laughs> and then we need, I, mean, I forgot about all these as well. Oh yeah, we could have had like a pavilion or something inside. That actually might be pretty cool. Oh yeah, I think you got to do it. It looks good. Hmm. Well, oh, damn it. <laughs> There's so many things to do then. Alright, look, she's parked. So the chess table's not there. Memorial Garden a question, blah, blah, blah. I don't know where they are, chess tables. Fountain garden, just garden. Gazebo garden. Uh, piazza benches, newsstand, memorial statue. Memorial garden, question, statue, cypress trees, etc. Not in there. Fountain plaza, gazebo plaza. I don't know where it is. I'm from there. You're from, your town's called Swords? As in Dublin? Yeah. My uh, cousins live there. Right, I'm just gonna either, this is the waiting area, which would be really what the pavilion would need to be. So let me just move the waiting area for a second. 
this would go in here instead. Because I still like having the bar there. Yeah, I guess so. Something like that. Um, maybe then we can shift around some of these things. So that doesn't make sense where it is now. <clears throat> so the telephone box will go on that side. You know what, actually, I think it needs to be moved up. See, there's little pathways that lead in and out on each side, so I feel like it almost needs these things, or just, I guess, more paving. Hmm. Just is special. It's in specials. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they're t uh, unfortunately they. It only works with grass. I was thinking that actually when we were looking for it. So there's no. It won't really look right with the tiles. It's a shame you can't just get the chess tables on a little tile. But oh well. Yeah, it's a nice thought. I, I would like the idea of it, but it just won't really fit with the tiles. Uh, you just popped up. By the way, is it worth buying all cosmetic DLC? It's only worth it if you like beauty building, you know, because it's totally cosmetic. So it's like, do you like the cosmetics? <laughs> um, they do come with a pretty decent amount of stuff in them, I think, considering their price. Like, they're pretty cheap. But it's all totally, like, optional stuff. Like, for instance, this is all... I made an amusement park with the amusement park cosmetics. And these ones have huge cosmetics in them. They're really nice. They have big, interesting animations, you know. You can even ride that thing, I think, if you want to, if you go into first person. So, if you like the atmosphere that the cosmetic packs deliver when you look at them, you know, then yeah. Or you could say, like, well, no, this is completely pointless. It just takes up space. I don't need it. Therefore, it's a waste of money. <laughs> so, it's hard to say, hard to say really. Uh, maybe you can open the fence a bit and make it on the grass. Nah. I just don't want to do that for something like this. Oh, damn it. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the pavilion thing there. That looks good. This is looking good. I'm going to bring this back and put the spotlights back in, even though it's going to be a squiggly fence. Or I'll just put the spotlights in at the back. Let's just check that out really quickly. So, Seasons, Empire Pack. We got our... S Am I blind? Where the hell's the spotlights gone? <laughs> oh, it's from the High Life. That's why. Large spotlights. They could just sit out like that, but then they are just, yeah, touching grass, weirdly. You know what would be the best thing ever in the next Dino game? If you just let me change the base tile to whatever I want, that's the dream. <laughs> in terms of being a kind of a beauty builder in this game. If you want things to look nice, that's how you do it. Oh, it needs to come up one. All right, new idea. Copy that. Use this in a moment. Just put it somewhere I can get it in a second. All right. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Move that over. That way, this just gives us an area that makes a lot more sense to work with. Okay. This can even come in that way. Now we've got this big patch here to do stuff with. Uh, so what did we just have? We had that telephone box, some luggage, things like that. That does make sense. So yeah, let's get the telephone box rotated facing the pavilion. We've already got a light, so the light's fine. I don't think I need it anywhere else, so that one can go. We've got luggage. We've got a lot of luggage already. Just drop some luggage there. Alright, so we've got this area to do stuff with. So what did I just remove as well? 
Uh, the clock, that's okay. Oh yeah, the actual other waiting kind of things. That'd be cool to bring over. Maybe arriving soon enough. So you got little waiting seats outside. <clears throat> Good. Maybe as well, actually, this would make sense. And uh, the clock ornament, but the regular one. Pedestrian pack, I think, actually. Nope. City lights. Yes. Yeah, so that one can go here. That's their clock for waiting. Their clock is part of a bar, because they're next to the air cafe, so that makes sense for them. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright, so, just plug that gap. What do you think? I think that might be it. Um, there's a shift V option for the chess tables. Sorry if I missed what that was relevant to, but the chess tables I don't think do have it. Um, the spotlights have a shift V option, which allows them to move rather than just stay on. Oh my god, you're live. I've been watching you on play. This is soothing. Thank you, Sam. What if you put the bar in the center of the tables? No, because the bar, the way it looks, it has like this back to it. So I just don't think people would be sitting behind that. To me, anyway. It seems like it's a front-facing bar, at least in my mind. So we've got our little wine dispensary there. We have our bar. We have two toilets. Quite the conversation that they're having. Then we've got our drinks stand. If you don't want to get food, just go to the drinks stand. All these guys can sit around, you know, at the clock there. Let's say you're getting on or you're getting off. You get hit with the souvenirs. You get hit with the postcards, the news, the bulletin board, that kind of thing. People are waiting in the pavilion because it is an outdoor area after all. Maybe they need their shelter sometimes. That kind of thing. So we have a little waiting area outside that. Telephones, you got to make your call about, hey, my flight's delayed, you know, something like that. We have lights as well for nighttime and spotlights will come on at night. So if we just darken it up a bit, this is what it looks like during the night. Oh, of course, just to keep people excited and interested, we have the balloon thing that you can kind of ride up on as well. Little photography nook outside of the balloon. So get my picture, my, you know, what would it be? Um, you know, my ecstatic face after I come down off the balloon ride or even while I'm up there or something. Although it is a photography nook. So it's like, hey, I just ride this balloon. <laughs> so that's the idea. So there we go. We got there in the end. Pretty happy with it now. And of course, then we also did the entrance, right? So down here, I connected the Docklands up to this pathway. Fortunately, can't blend that, but it's as good as we can get it. Um, then we put down this ornament here, like a sort of an anchor. A city map for people this who are just coming... They're coming off of the place, you know, out of the airship or whatever. They get their city map here. If you want to go onto the Docklands, you can walk away and get onto the buses, and the buses will take you into the city. So we've got all this room now to play with here. Uh, we added the road back in this way. We changed the building so it's a curve, so we can walk in and around it. So that, I don't know, you could access this bit of the road if you wanted to. Also, this um, airship building now has its wall going around the back completely. But then down here, we've got our airmail office. That's where the, the post gets distributed, right next to the place, of course. And then the character guys that come in and out, getting your tickets. Now we have a new road on this side of things that will take us all the way up to the fire stations and so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I think I think it's as good as we can get it. <laughs> as I can get it, anyway. There it is. Put two bars in the corner instead of just one in the north. Nah, I like it the way it is. <laughs> I like this bar. We've got a wine bar. We've got an airship platform cafe and a drinks shack. I think, they, I think they're sorted, you know, for their different stuff. So I'm happy about it. Or happy with it. And then, of course, our little trees and stuff dotted around. Uh, see, let's get rid of this one as well. Doesn't need to be there anymore. Yep, nice area. Cool. Man, that took a while. But I am happy. This is why these things take a long time. <laughs> a lot of trial and error. God, you're obsessed with this, uh, the, um, 
<laughs> the chest tables. I do like the chest tables, but I just, like I said, because it's grass, I just don't think it's going to really work. You could grab it and put it out around the back somewhere and then try to make like a little archway entrance. But I think that's weird. Like what kind of, I just don't know why you'd, you know, quote, I'm raising my hands as air quotes, like going to an airport. And then it's like, well, go out into this field and play chess. <laughs> I think you have to be staying on the. I think you do have to stay on the um, tiles, in my opinion. Anyway. Looks good at night. Yeah, it does. It looks really nice at night. Cool thing in this game is the way the lights come on as the sun sets. They kind of come on sporadically over time. They don't all just come on immediately. Anyway, I think they're good ideas. You know. It's all about taste. I just have, I guess, my particular way where I'm like, in my head, they're staying inside. Can I come out here and go to there? That is tempting. You could do even more in here. Eventually. Maybe I will one day. But for now, I think we should move on from this particular area. Um, so something I think I, what I'd really like to do is this, the whole idea of doing the stream was to say that, oh, we might... So, for those who don't know, I've got a Let's Play series of the game. It's been very long running. And in the latest episode, we built a new little village out here. So, in Crown Falls, or Crown Farms as I call it. Looks like we're out of... Yeah, we're going to run out of loads of things. It's fine, though. That's what the logistics has to come in later. We built this place. Really happy with it. I think it looks great. Really like it. Little old town with some old towers and stuff in it. The old different marketplaces. The cider stalls. You know, people are having a great time. As you can see. Um, and I was going to work my way up from the farmers up. But people said, no, no, no. You should really work from the top down. And it does make a lot of sense to do that. If we're going to just finish off the series, make sure everyone's got everything, redo our trade routes, and just make sure everyone's got everything they need. Fulfill all the lifestyle needs and stuff like that. So to do that, I was working from the bottom up, but we're going to instead go top down. To do top down, though, means that really... Um... I need to figure out how many of these houses I'm going to get. So I think I'll add maybe a few extra light, um, investors. So instead of focusing now on this little beauty area, we're now going to just focus on where our house is going to go. Fill up the last bits of land that haven't been taken already. And then it'll just be a matter of delivering everything to everyone in the future. So let's do that next. Greetings from Croatia. Greetings from Ireland slash England. Back at you. And thank you. And thanks for all the super chats and the m new members, by the way. Really do appreciate it. It's very encouraging to stream more. Um, just for those who are interested, a slight plan I have with streaming here on YouTube is just for the next month, until the end of April, it'll be hard to get a kind of schedule. Just because I have a holiday coming up. A friend is coming over from the United States and he'll be here for a couple of weeks in mid to late April. But as soon as that's done, then I can like really, and I'll be also finished something I'm doing on Twitch, um, which is like a Total War marathon at the moment. But once those two things are out of the way in, in late April, very late April, early May, really, um, then I'll probably make streaming here a lot more regular alongside the episodes that I do as well. So, um, right. See you later, Sam. Spoilers, oh no. <laughs> and hello, Alphabet. Can't have it without there being a for now in there every now and then. Uh, okay, so yeah, something I'd like to do is obviously sort of dress up the sides of the canals and stuff in the future, but we'll just focus on the layout of where houses are going to go. And airmail and stuff. So, post offices are going to be kind of important for us now. Now, I don't think I actually have a post office. Oh, I do. I've got one. I've got tons of post boxes. So, where's our post... Actually, let me just figure out these runes. We've got runes in all these different places. I'll just fix them real quickly. May you have oil in your lamp. Uh-oh. We're missing wood. Maybe we could get an airship just to quickly pick some up here. <clears throat> Fly up here, fix that for them really quickly. Just realized, well, I think the music is actually off in the game. <laughs> There we go. All right, let's just let this guy fly up here, drop off the wood, repair the thing, and then just make sure these runes are fixed. Warmer 2 greater than 3, or warmer 2 worse than 3. I think 3 is better. I've always thought that, even when it was just, even without the um, Mortal Empires. I know that's like a hot take. 
The main reason is just I'm a real big fan of mechanics and the diplomacy and the fact that you can... So diplomacy mechanics in Warhammer 3 are awesome, like really, really good. You've also got eight player multiplayer, which is amazing. Um, but then they also added uh, the outpost mechanic. So it's like, oh, if you have an ally, you can recruit their units. So if I'm playing dwarfs, I can be allied to vampire counts and get vampire beastly vampire cavalry in my armies. And I just think that's so awesome that it doesn't even... It's not even a contest between the two games because it's just such a massive mechanic for me. Um, but yeah. Am I going to play City Skylands 2? I'd certainly like to. Um, I really like the first one. I'm just not very good at it. Um, I think in the run-up to launch, we'll maybe stream it or something or play it on this channel and you guys can tell me how to not fail so miserably. I basically just suck when it comes to traffic problems. I'm just not very good at it. I don't drive, so it's probably why. And greetings, Stefan. Excuse me. All right, that's everything that was um, had a broken problem with it, so that's all good now. Alrighty, we are back. Back with our new area. So basically, I just moved the airships away from over here. So that, that area is now free as well. So, um, my OG invest, my small investor district, right? They're the small guys, and then these are the high life guys. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not so happy with the tourist that's in here. But I needed that amount of tourists for some reason. I can't remember why. Oh, it was for the, um, this thing. And there's no more space for my other tourists out here. So maybe, where else could I put a tourist building? Could this move somewhere? Would it make sense in front of the palace, for instance? It doesn't quite fit there. Would it make sense over by this area? You could have a row of them, maybe facing the ocean. That could kind of look cool. This is a temporary little test. Let's see what it looks like. And they've got two grid space in front of them for stuff. You'd probably want to keep it about there. I could fit three before I don't have the space anymore. And then obviously, like, you know, you'd be putting the road in here, something like this. Something like that, or a pathway, whatever, it doesn't matter, just as long as you know that there will be things in front of it, and then you kind of hit the ocean. Maybe have its own pier, or something like that as well, sort of like how we have on this side, some of the unique pier ornaments and stuff in future. The reason I'm asking, or you know, trying to feel this out is just because then it's important to know where those um, investor houses are going to go in future. And that could have like a lighthouse on the end with restaurants alongside it or something like that if you wanted to. That could be kind of neat. Do they need to face inwards? When I'm here, I'm normally looking at this place in this direction. I feel like they'd want an ocean view, right? I mean, they could, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Spread the hotels then? Well, they can't. There's no more space. They'd have to be in a row. Or I could only have two. There's, um, the space ends here. So, for instance, this is the best you could get. This would give me room for, like, a path or something in the middle of them. How did I do it over in the other place? Yeah, they have the boulevards going around them. And they obviously need bus stops and stuff. So the tourists... Let's just put this down for a second. It's so unfortunate that you can only hit two with that bus stop. So they need to be a little closer even. I think at the very minimum, or at the very maximum. Yeah. Let's stop on this side would fix it. And you could have loads of things out here. I 
I don't need the extra. Um, basically, I'll, I, I was looking at this area and thinking, this never really fit into the city here, I didn't think. So I'd like to get rid of this. And if I get rid of it, I'll need to put it somewhere else, because I do need that amount. So I need um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I need 12, I think. Although now that we've lifestyle, actually, I don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't need it at all. Could just leave it. <laughs> There's an idea there, though. I mean, I gotta do something with that area. Maybe. It's just empty. But I forgot about lifestyle. Lifestyle means that I actually don't need... Let me just turn this music down. So the question is, what's the amount I need, right? So I need at least 5,000 extra tourists to be able to work. And I worked it out before that I needed 12 houses that could do it. But now they go up higher than they did before. They used to go up to 500, but now they go up to 625. And then a certain amount of them work in the various buildings we have. So I guess what I need to do is go into population tab, we go to residences, we check tourists, and we look at what we've got. We've got 4,500... Let me write this down. I've returned. Hey, Draconic. Sorry that your message was delivered. Uh, oh, it was retracted. Could they have exclusive entrance to the museum zoo? Yeah, exactly. Maybe. Just really quickly. So let me just work this out. So we've got 4533 three tourists right now. And we've got 11 households. Or 11 hotels. Alright. That's all well and good. Let me just make sure that's correct. Yep, 11 households. So how much am I missing? If I was to extend this all the way up to 5,000, which it doesn't seem to want to do. There we go, 5,000. We're lacking 2,300. Now, they can go up to set, that can go up to 785. Oh, because they've got the, uh, the correct town hall, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, let me whip out the calculator here, because um, if we just, I'm just trying to get the max amount I can possibly have on the island right now. The 625 is the max of this, and we've got six of them. So that's going to be 3,750. 3,750. On this one, we've only got five, but it can go up to 785. And that's 3,925. Imagine what a woman with her mind. What so okay. <laughs> okay, so basically the total is 7675. That's what our capacity is as it stands right now without putting in extra icons. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it did say it there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, so it was just there. 7675. So we can do it. 7675 minus 49... Let's just say 5,000 because we're just at 5,000 now. That's 2,675. We've got about 2,675 available. Or room to grow. Yeah, so that's more than what I had in here. Good. So I don't need any more hotels is what I've basically come to the conclusion of. The potential to fill all these hotels will fill that number if we just deliver everything. So it does. It will, it will work. Okay then. So that means I don't need any more hotels. So that's, um, that's kind of seal the deal on that. Now, there is an argument to be made that maybe it would just look kind of cool doing it. But I'll have to play around with that myself maybe a bit. But before I do that, we'll just say, forget the hotel for now. Instead, this is now space for more um, high life stuff. Get rid of the, all this stuff. It's just a big block, big block of real estate that we can do something else with. They need their bus connection there. Yep. Okay. So to do that, I'd have to build or upgrade a bunch of residents here. Or engineers. Let's just do that now. Can we actually even do this? Damn. Can't do it. But I can block it out knowing like they're going to take this spot. Something like that. The drugstores can't really change. Or can they? I guess this is a lot of waste space down here, so maybe we can move the drugstores up further then. These two.
Could have something like that with a bunch of houses here, maybe. I don't mind having a broken road there. That could look kind of cool. These are meant to be uh, blueprinted. Whoops. That's what that would be. And then we need more in here. We won't have road access, so we'd need to come forward a bit. Might look a little strange, but we could put markets and stuff in the middle. Or something like that, maybe. Live stream's fun. I would say keep 10 hotels. Well, we got 11. We need 11. It seems like if I was to remove one hotel, that when we just, we'd fall slightly under the number for needed for tourists, for the customers. Um... Your city blocks could have more room around them to break up the big blocks and rows. Uh, well, I think when it comes to a thick city, that's what you kind of want to do. You want to have those blocks. Like here, I've got loads of room between things. And I did that on purpose. I opened up blocks. Like, I don't need the population. I'm happy to have more open space. But if you've got a tall building and it's just like a massive gap around it, it looks strange. In fact, I kind of hate the way even these stores are so small. I feel like they should be tall too because it's really weird. Now, the idea was that this the city gets progressively larger as it goes in, so it sort of steps higher and higher as we get further towards the Skyline Tower. That was the idea. It's not fully fully realized yet. Some of them aren't fully upgraded yet. We have a Benti check. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we can have a look at her main island. What's her main island there? Today on this stream, she's colonized three more. She asked me to colonize three. So in the old world, she has this island and then also this one. In the new world, she's got the island that was her previously her last island. Seems to be doing just fine. No riots anymore. My airships are hovering over still. She's also now gotten the one in the bottom of the map, which is also quite quite a large island, Bentiborg. Uh, then she's got this one, Benefacti. That's three. In Cape Trelawney, she's just got two very small islands. This one here. And this one down here. In the Arctic, she has nothing, and we will not allow her to have anything. <laughs> She's actually got a ship down here looking on. Of what could have been. And then we have Enbesa, where she has two islands. So she has this one. And also this one. Jorgen's Haven. There you go, that's your Benti update. So she's doing good, she's bounced back. Uh, the hotels around the Orange Long work because of the symmetry you have, but I have a hard time making them look good in my game because they all look alike. Yeah, so I, I find that a problem too. It's An answer to that is to separate them and have them in all different places so that they're not close to each other. Um, so yeah, here it's all like they all face in towards the big monuments, so that, that seems to kind of work out in a nice enough way. The other one then, I flipped them. So we've got this is facing that and that's facing that and then there's just one behind. So again, it's the sy symmetry kind of helps it. But I agree, when they're all the same hotel, it's a, kind of a struggle to make them look good, especially if you need them to be in around a trade union or something. But m this is as good as I think I can ever get it. Or you just, like I said, you could have it by the waterfront, so you have a row of three in the waterfront. If anyone's ever been to Brighton in the UK, or if you look up Brighton UK Beach, you can see beyond the beach, there's just rows of hotels all facing out towards the beach. And they all do look really similar. So it's kind of like that vibe. I'm going to leave it locked to here for now because I like the shadows they're casting. So yeah, so... Hmm. Let me just start out. I'll, I shouldn't be locked into these roads. Let me just redo this bit as well. And just see, okay, what could this really be like if we have max ultimate potential, unlimited potential here to do what we want. So it is nice having to come in this way, and you can't really build them any further down. There was a reason why I couldn't. What was that reason? Because a road could come down here conceivably.
Let's just see what this would look like, even on its own. They can't be placed in here. There's not allowed. Why not? <laughs> Construction area blocked. Isn't the grid fully here, though? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's just hard to see, but it's not. Oh, so that's why I never built any further down, then. So that's as far down as we can go on that side. So that's the reason for that. Okay, well, that makes sense. I see what Past Darn was thinking. To introduce our new yeah, we'll have to just put in, like I said, trees or fences or something else that was there before and leave it the way it was. So this could conceivably be a road. This road could go. These guys could just rotate that way for a moment. Hmm. Alright, what if you came up by one? Big city needs big roads. I don't like when people do two roads together. I think it looks weird because it's just you can just clearly see. I don't know. I just don't I don't like that. And I think that looks even weirder. So I never do that personally. And it's the 1800s. I don't think we do need massive roads. I think they're big enough. So yeah, I'm pro I'll probably never do double roads. It's one thing I've like pretty much always avoided. I just don't think it looks good. Hate to say it. Just don't think it looks good. Um. But I am just one man. <laughs> just trying to see how much space we're getting here. So we have another space for a road then, another line. Yeah, my, I'm kind of happy with that, actually. So this could be conceivably then another block there and another block there. And the road that goes through. And we've got our two drugstores, giving them benefits and stuff. A road that can cut through between the drugstores and the other groups of houses here. Room for post box as well. Pop it in somewhere there or something. I like triple roads with something down the center, but I hate double roads. So ugly. Yeah, the triple roads are a little bit better, I'll admit. Um, yeah, in Cape, Tr in Cape Trelawney, like... I never did double roads, but I had this like big open area here, like a lot more empty space between the houses, at least in the center of town. And then it becomes a bit more uniform and block-like as you go further in. And I never finished that area. That was a for now job that I never got to. So yeah, I've experimented a little bit with the op more open spaces, I guess. Okay, so they're going to be... I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't... Yeah, rows like that are fine by me. And then we'll I'll rotate them so they blend a bit better and stuff. And then they'll just get bigger and bigger as they progressively go in. So then as the drugstores are there, could be some pathways and tunnels or whatever underneath. Um, so that's okay by me. I'm happy with the canal as well. I'll leave the canal where it is. Although I might do something with how that bus stop looks down here. It's a bit strange. It's It needs to be there to give access to the Docklands. <laughs> Because uh, there's just not really any room for it anywhere else. It could maybe go there. Okay, let's just pretend that that's done then. So that's going to be high rises. That's high rises all the way through. Oh yeah, they have their boulevards leading through. Forgot about that. Yeah, that actually continues through actually. It looks nice. Okay, good. Um, here, that's where we reach restaurants and members club. Yep, that's fine by me. And this is going to be some sort of zoo area. Because I need the extra... I'm going to need the extra... Uh, attractiveness? Alright, so. Oh yeah, actually, just even for temporary sake. Let's get rid of this. We'll pop these in there. At least we can say we filled it. They just need to be upgraded. And then we have to see what everyone's demanding. Just 
just a, it's temporary just to fill in like I, i'm just trying to get the layout right of what houses are going to go where now so that's what that's going to be like and you can just imagine these will be raised um. okay something i was never that happy about was this area i might change it now so that we make this like chinatown so the, the, the chinatown pack i'm just going to keep calling it chinatown pack it's called the dragon something pack um dragon garden pack might make a little dragon garden here around this bus stop get rid of these underfloor things and it's like a middle kind of thing between the two stores I'm, i'd be happy with that could theme around the uh town hall as well maybe so that could be our chinatown yep okay so this side is just going to be in reserve then for the zoo now why is this here oh for the restaurants yeah it needs to be there for restaurants it's a shame that you can't just have it down by the docks. But it's just slightly short of what we'd need the spa we'd need space to have it deliver stuff up this way. Anyway, sorry. Um, Boulevard makes for great ornamental sites. Hmm. I like to do two rows of ornaments in the middle, like a Park Avenue. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. Especially with that enclosed green. That can look really good. Um, we could maybe try that up here, but just to show what I mean by that. So if you do this, and then you get rid of this... And then the enclosed green, I think, is in the pedestrian pack. Not the enclosed tree, but the enclosed green. Yeah, so that's kind of nice, right? It's like a dynamic thing. You can have it be a big square or whatever. Love that one. I mean, I love it and hate it at the same time, because you can't change its modules, so you just have to deal with whatever's there, whatever's there, you know? You can't alter it. Um, and putting it down a second time doesn't change it either, so it's just, it's like predetermined where it goes. But it can be good between two roads. So yeah, I need to figure out a nice layout for the canals and the bridge crossings and stuff. We'll get to that. Um, so what about this area here? So this is super, super messy. Yeah, I'm okay with that actually though as well. Big gap in front of the town hall. That's fine, oh, that's fine as well. So should these move down one maybe? So, we've got this strange looking kind of double road here, but we could change it so there's something else there instead. Oh yeah, I've got enclosed greens inside here. I did see something interesting a while back. I can't remember where I saw it. But it was, uh, let's see if we can just make the shape now. I think it was... It's hard to remember what it was, but it like did some diagonal stuff, which was quite an interesting way of doing things. Let me show you what I mean. I think these were changed to be uh, diagonal. Yeah, these ones. So what? If I make this all look the same just for a second, and then we rotate it like that. Did they move it forward a bit? Maybe it was there. It was kind of something like that, and then someone just... They just basically used road. And they created like a bigger... Like a bigger block, if that makes sense. Just try that. Just kind of curious to like, see if I can recreate it or what I thought I saw anyway. Oh, it's so annoying. Every time we move them, they just reset. So I guess I'll put them in position first and then do it. Um, so it's too... It's hard to even tell where the lines are. I think it's there. I think this is the idea? Something like this? Maybe this has to come over one. Yeah, I think, I think this is it, right? And then we go make these the, the kind of the diagonal ones. I'll read my chat in just one second. Just wanted to get this done first. Stations. Okay.
Yeah, like, a, so I've obviously got these blocks and small blocks, but it's like a bigger and the ones with stuff inside even here, like this block. And I've used the kind of diagonally angled ones before as well, but to make it, to use two in a row so that it kind of looks like they extend further and further out. I think I saw that recently. It might have been the Anno subreddit. I certainly feel like I didn't come up with it. And yeah, I'm after making this too short. But you get the idea, right? So it'd be something like that. Let's see if I can look this up, actually. Maybe I could just find the person who actually did it. Reddit. I'll just search by top of the week. I feel like it was recently. I'll display it in a second once I get it. Um... Yeah, can't seem to find it, but I I don't know. If anyone has the image or thinks they know where I saw it, I should play Astroneer. Yeah, there's a lot of games I'd like to play. Unfortunately, the realities of doing this as your job means that you should really play things that are new rather than things that are old. So most new series and new things I'll do going forward will be new games, like City Skylines 2, that kind of stuff. The next Anno. <laughs> things like that. Yeah, I can't seem to find it. Um, I think it, it might have been the subreddit, but I'm not sure. I'm just looking at the images right now, but I just can't quite find it. I feel like someone just posted like, oh, I like engineer your blocks or something. Free housing on all sides. Yeah, that might be the case. It's not just that, but I feel like my diagonal lines aren't even, they don't look as the way they did. I don't know if they used a mod or something. Uh, let me just show you what I'm looking at right now, by the way. Bonk. Oh, there we go. I uploaded it. Yeah, that's, I don't even, can you even do that? Because <laughs> he's using mods clearly, or the person is anyway. So I don't know if that was just modded or not. But it looks like it, it must be, because the way it's blending is just too good. You know what I mean? Mods? Yeah. Bastards. <laughs> Your money's thank you. Don't worry about the money in the game. It's fine. Everything's fine. I think I've got enough. Um, right. Turn that back on. At least it was a mod. I know it means I can't do it. Oh, but thanks for the heads up, though. Yeah, but the money problem, it's, it's fine. I've pur purposefully, like, things are going to be breaking down. It's, it is purposeful. I've deleted a bunch of trade routes. Like, things will just break down the longer we go. But I, I don't mind that. I can get a case started Do really easily. Changes, I hope? My publishing. I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. Okay. Anyway, well, it was, it was worth kind of playing around with the idea. <laughs> um, right, anyways. Uh, do I follow Legend of Total War? Yeah, I'm really good friends with Legend of Total War. Me and him go way back. We used to do videos and campaigns together in Total War back in 2014. And uh, I worked for Creative Assembly, so I worked with him then as he was an influencer. So I worked with him as his liaison. I met him in person. I've had dinner with him and his wife. Very nice man. Consider him a friend. I know what he's doing at the moment with his Total War issues and his problem. I don't really understand what his problem is, to be honest, because I'm not in the Total War community and ecosystem anymore. Really. Um, but I know he's getting some sort of YouTube group together or something to, to do something with it. Um, I read his uh, post. I haven't spoke to him in a while, though. It's been about a year, probably, since I talked to him. Yeah, I think it was just after Warmer 3 launched to talk to him. Will I be using a big mod some people are making about an Asian region? Yeah, I'd like to. That'd be cool. I don't plan on using any mods in this series until it's kind of done, and then maybe I could use some mods in a new series or something in the future. I only ever made one series in this game, and I just stuck with it. And I kept it mod-free because a lot of people were using it as a beginner series, so... If I suddenly started having things that they need to go get a mod to play, I felt like that would turn off a lot of people. It would turn me off, anyway. So I never ended up doing that. But once this one's done, and it's getting really close to being done, we're in the final stages of just like, okay, let's just wrap it up, you know? So once this one gets done, then I'll probably do mini-series on the scenarios, and then maybe I could look to play some mods and do a modded run. It's the same with Satisfactory. I want to finish the Satisfactory series, and then we can play with mods. 
Um, I'm just really, really slow because I spend hours designing little airports. <laughs> um, but anyway. Hey, look at that. Money came back up. Weird. Alright, so that connects to there. So there we go. So now I'm just trying to place in the rest of these. Yeah, so now that we have not really have an influence problem anymore, we can build new town halls in certain places to boost the rest of the residents that we're getting. So that'll probably be the last town hall we can place down. Somewhere over there. And I'm not trying to just squeeze in loads of houses. I don't really need them. It's We can now really just decide where I want to place houses to make them look good. So any ideas for this final segment of land here, let me know. I don't need any extra engineers. We can farm influence or influences. What, influences? <laughs> Investors. I don't need any more. We could delete them even if I wanted to because we can just get influence infinitely from the World Cup thing. I'm pretty... I'll be able to fill this in. I'm happy with this layout and I'll fill it in with the stuff that I want. We've got Town Hall there. We've got Town Hall there. Could maybe squeeze one actually here instead if I really wanted to and then put one up maybe up there. But I'm fine with it. But if you got ideas of like, what what could you do with this patch of land as a final thing? What's missing from the city? You know, I've got a big park. We've got an industrial Docklands. Um, we have the nightlife aspect here. We have all our restaurants in this area. I'm not adding any more restaurants or drugstores. That's that. That's that done. The hospital, admittedly, is in a weird spot. One hospital there. So, you know, another hospital maybe in the center could maybe make sense. We have all the arts out that way. We've got another... Uh, zoo here with loads of like unique and rare creatures, so that's totally fine. If I just stop running around the place, we can kind of have a look at the district. So the old investors up on the hill, the high life city down in the near towards the docks, the docklands, the airport, the tourism sector. You know, the tourism sector is here and here, and that's why our amusement park is there. The zoo, the engineer district is all out this way. With the Central Park, the Docklands, the Scholar District, the Palace with scholars inside, the beauty building, zoos and museums and stuff, the Artisan Cliffs, the Artisan Other Cliffs. <laughs> so it's like, okay, what what could we do? You like when I switch to this view? The island. Very first. This is the exact place where I took the first screenshot for the first thumbnail for the first episode. And I've kept it since. And I've kept a lot of the saves, so one thing I plan on doing for the last episode, going through all the saves, keeping the camera here where it is, and seeing how the city should change shape and grew. So that should be a fun thing to do. I could even do it if I really want to put the time in. I could do this, where I rotate the camera. If I do one full rotation for each save, and then just edit it, you'd actually see it growing in full 3D, which would be a really nice time lapse. <laughs> it's a lot of work, though. A lot of work, but it would be nice to do. How about a grain farm? No, no farms in this place. That's it's that's one thing I'm ruling out. This place is purely city, pretty much. I'm okay, I'm open to doing a park or something, but the only exception to that is the vineyards, and I just think vineyards are kind of more upper class, so that's fine. Local fairgrounds? We have a local fair here. I feel like we don't need another one. You can also add some old artifacts from the museum to blend with the old town. Oh yeah, an old town, right. Double lane road with a median strip. Look better on high rise area. Single wide road. Now the high rise, I just said I'm not going to use double roads anywhere, so that's out. Ruled out. Uh, yep, Farthest Frontier, I know I can see your second thing as well. But yeah, you should check out that series, it's a really good one actually. I really enjoyed it. 20 episodes, nice and contained. You can build multi-lane artery roads. Um, with median green belts, crisscrossing each other, big square, garden, or big tall object in the road. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to... This is done now. <laughs> like, I know it's, it's not done done, but the layout's done. So the layout's not changing. Let that go. But it's just this area. But yeah, I wouldn't mind having a, a dead straight road. Maybe that leads towards the palace or something. With a greenery in, in the middle of it. That could look nice. Is this the post office? Like the yeah. It doesn't need to be there anyway. We can move it further down to this area where the bank is and stuff. 
I'd make a second Riverside Green Park. Hmm. You have the castle ruins on Crown Farms. What about the pristine castle there? As if the place is an upgrade of a former government center. Not sure I know what you mean. Let's see. The pristine castle. Oh, right. You're saying I've got ruins in the other place, but what about having an actual pristine sort of old town city wall? Is that what you mean? Like having a, a more pristine upkeep to it? Because in Crown Farms, yeah, I tried to make it look like ruins, right? By having patches of wall. So the wall is like kind of broken in bits. It's undergoing maintenance. And then the tourism leads in here to the way the old city used to be or whatever. Industry area for the looks? Hmm. I feel like I already have one. Damn, it's difficult to, to know. Are you continuing the episodes for this series? I haven't seen one in a while. I am, yeah. It's because, um, it's because people had pointed out in the previous episode that I need to work from the top down, not the bottom up. And if I'm going to do that, it's just... It, I knew that it would take me quite a while to get the layout of the city finished, and then I can continue the episode. So once this layout's done, then we're good to go. But it's a lot of guesswork. Like, I just don't know for a fact what I'm going to do with anything. It's a lot of tri trial and error, not guesswork. Trial and error. Alright, let me grab some of these houses. Move them out of the way. Alright, and what about an enclosed green? And then every now and then there could be, yeah, like cut throughs or whatever. Like I'll probably change where they happen, but I'm just trying to get a feel for it. You'd end up with something like that. With obviously the houses looking a little bit nicer on the sides. And they could probably go in a line. So, as an example, let's just get rid of the roads. Here, for a sec. You know, something like that. Older Anno had military castle. That looked great, by the way. You need a couple engineers to merge from the artisans to the investors. Also, people who were complaining about the skyscrapers looking repetitive. Just mix the engineers in and look a little bit better. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Mixing some engineers ones in there. I think the reason high-rises look bad, in my opinion anyway, is just because they stand... There's no other buildings that rise up with them. So you've just got like big patches of tall buildings and then nothing. You look at any city, you just don't, you don't, well, most cities anyway, you don't really get that. Where it's just suddenly tall buildings and then gaps of massive nothing for a while. That might be why. But also, the layout's not done to these anyway, in terms of their high rise. Look, I need to upgrade these ones and some of them need to be taller. So it'll that'll look better. But yeah, it might be worth trying to mix in some of the. Engineer ones. I actually just have too many engineers anyway, though. <laughs> but I suppose we could try it. Yeah, I do like this idea. This kind of idea. I don't know how I do the insides, but that idea of this road going forward. But then eventually it does just have to turn as the bridge goes over that way, so... It would have to end here. Or maybe even here. Hey, is this new music? I don't know this song. What's this one? <laughs> oh, 
Wow, it's really nice. Love the series, great work, thank you. It's from the Old Town Pack, they added music? Oh, they added 1404 music. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I do like the idea. Maybe, maybe that will just have to be shifted over just a slight bit. So actually, I'll I tell you what we do first. So that bridge can't move, so these houses have to be there. Yeah. That is a really annoying shame, the way that bridge is. Maybe... An explosion in one of your factories. We should just get rid of it. Explosion in one of my factories. Just trying to think of where these are going to... I'm just sorry. I'm, I'm just literally trying to think in my head where the layout's going to go. Um, and what else can be placed in these areas? I do like the idea of the Chinatown pack. I think the Chinatown pack will probably go down here. Even though it is a small area. But I think that'd be fine. What other cosmetics do we have? The amusement park, the city lights, city lights of markets, and... Yeah. The pedestrian zone. Could have a more open walk around area, actually. It might be kind of nice. Don't think I'll be using that again. The industrial zone, we don't need that here. Maybe the old town. Holiday pack. Yeah, just more high life stuff, I guess. Okay. Um, Anna just nails music, no, the game comes close. Can you upgrade the hospital? That's a good question. I actually don't know. Oh my god, you can. That'd be cool. Yeah, there should be a hospital in the center here. Maybe at the end of the thing. The boulevard. Alright, let me just uh, move some of these out of the way. If I can do that without destroying them, that'd be nice. Oop. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, so I'm just trying to look at where this thing will continue up from. That has to stay there in order to reach everything, so that can't move. And that has to stay next to it, so that's locked in. But this boulevard could maybe be a bit more central. So if there's a, a row of two houses there, there could be a row of two here. And that would have to go up that way. So maybe this is where the boulevard could start then. And actually, it'd be nice if it fit This music, man. Am I gonna just randomly start crying on stream? <laughs> Alright, you come back down here. Yeah, so I'm thinking these could actually move forward again. We could have like a little cut through. They don't have to be blocks like that. We can change their look so they actually look like this and you just have gaps to come through them. And then something like this. I hadn't heard this music before, and yet yeah, we've had it for a while. Sorry, um, my chat's gone very small. I'll just open it up again because I missed some things there. Missed a few things. Yeah, for some reason it keeps closing itself. I do see it. It just goes really small. Um, so, Older Anu had a military castle. That would look great. Congrats for your great work on the series. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. Hey, another Darren. Riverside Park with the castle ornaments using a couple of items from each pack. Yeah, uh, park it near the river I think will be nice. Some trees and stuff. That would be good. Um... Jamanda, some casino looks, though, some kind of gambling district. I actually have one, kind of. Uh, down here, it's hard to see, but like the engineers at night, we've actually got literal casinos in these places. So at nighttime, the kind of down by the docks area, as I like to think of it, kind of brightens up with neon lights and stuff. Some shady deals be going down out there. So we've kind of got an area for that. Um, it's basically City Skylines, like the part you're bad at, you should try and play Transport Fever 2. Transport Fever is way easier though, because you don't have to worry about traffic. 
I've, I've played Transfer Fever. I really like it. Not as good as this game, though. People had asked me to do a series on it, and I just played it, and I thought, the Anna's just much better. <laughs> At least it felt that way. Um, definitely need to restart in this game soon. Got a bit lost from the new DLC in the longish break. Yeah, I'll probably do a new series once this one's wrapped up, and just do a new, brand new one, but I'll probably just stream it. Because I feel like that's the only way I can make it anyway different than the series I've just done. Anna just nails music. Oh yeah, I read that already. Less is more when it comes to houses. You could downgrade the skyscrapers now that you have unlimited influence. That's true. Technically don't need them. It would be nice to only have just very few. I don't have a problem meeting their demands. It's just, it's purely their look. But I do think I could downgrade a lot of the ones along here and here. And maybe just keep some of the tall ones right around the skyline tower himself, itself. It'll probably look better that way. Um... And then keep the ones I've got over by the engineers. I do like these ones. They are arguably even a little too tall as well. Maybe everything could be lowered by one. <laughs> and that would be good enough. Maybe I'll experiment with that. Um, Company of Heroes 3, question mark. Um, I, pl I play Company of Heroes 3, but unfortunately the video I did on it didn't do very well, so I probably won't do it on the channel again. You could make gaps of three tiles and put a road in the middle. With lights on either side. Oh, uh, yeah, that could look good. Let's just mess around with that and experiment with it. Go road in the middle. And a gap of three tiles. So not this and not this one. And what was the... With lights either side. Yeah, so something I kind of did like that was like down here, for instance. These little signposts have lights. Just to get a mini feel for it. Now, obviously, you could have other things in trees as well. Um, in fact, let's just see what that would look like. All living spaces, offices, shops, entertainment. Soon the city will be brimming with smaller cities. Obviously, these trees are, like, blocking the sign, I guess. You probably need a bit more of a gap between the actual lights, but something like that could be kind of cool. I do like this. This is good. Uh, it's a little plain, I suppose, and you can't control what gets made where. Um, like, you can't change the module. There's no modules of this thing. It's just the way it works. Like, you can click away and put it back, and that's just... It is what it is. Um. Yeah, that's a maybe. Something like that would probably fit in nicely here, actually, just as a nice little dip breaking up of point as well. Use the trimmed small trees from the palace. The trimmed small trees from the palace. Don't think I know what they are from the palace. So the palace pack. Seat of power. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. They'd work better and they wouldn't block those lights, like you said. Very opulent, indeed. So that's kind of like what I did over in Crown Farms. Oof. Oh, no, I guess not. I guess I used these things. Similar vibes, though. <laughs> yeah, the, tre I, the trees are just temporary. It was just to get a feel of it. Um, see what it sounded like. Let me just... <laughs> I hate this song. The song's so loud compared to everything else. Just gonna get out of there and get back. Let's just put the 1404 music back on. Um, Alright, so if I'm gonna have two blocks there, I'm happy with that. I think I will use something like this, but it could have the lights like you said. Well, I guess actually I will have to make it a choice. So we're gonna have to make a choice here, guys, okay? So you can help me out. So let's just put a mini wall between this for now. Forget... So this is... Think of this as like a wall, this area here, this road. Don't worry about that anymore. I'll put a grass line, actually, so we can just see that. Okay. In fact, can we uh, darken it just so we can really see it? Oh, I know what I'll do. Sorry. I'll just put a dirt road. So just the dirt road is nothing, right? It's just a fake wall. Forget that. So everything here stays that way. And everything here, will, I'll show you what I'm thinking of now. So go along with that person said, which was a road down the center. And then it was like 
lights and trees either side. Now there's two types of lights we could use. We could use the little lamppost lights, which aren't very bright. We'll darken it just so we can see them now in a second. It would be something like that. And they could stagger them or keep them together. They're, they're quite dark. If we go to the cosmetic section again, and we go to city lights, and we open up the city light, they're good, but they have like little benches. So I don't know if that changes how we feel about them or not. And then in terms of trees, what could we go with to break this up? We've got the white trees actually might be kind of nice, just to be different. Because um, we've got pink trees in lots of different places. So let's grab cosmetic. If we can find it. We've also got these things, the wishing trees that could be placed all around. The high life actually came with some I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. nice tree as well, didn't it? Oh, maybe not. I'm thinking of one that came with... Oh, it does have a little circle on the bottom, a base to it, yeah. So they could be these. What is the cosmetic pack with the dragon symbol containing... Uh, we actually had to look at it earlier. I don't want to be too redundant, but it's a dragon garden pack. I bought it at the beginning of the stream. So you could check it there. But we looked at everything. We put everything down and had a look at it. I'm going to make a Chinatown down here. Uh, probably over here later. Not on the stream today, but at some point. I'm trying to just figure out what would be a nice middle layout. And once we figure out how long and wide it's going to be, then I can put the houses in and then we can wrap it up. So do we keep it symmetrical like that? So what are you thinking? Smaller lights or bigger lights? Smaller lights or bigger lights? Remember, they've got benches baked in. These have like lamps or signs baked in, but we can change the signs. There's like four different ones. Mix the trees from the Asian pack. Yeah, I don't know about that. Probably not. I'll probably keep the trees consistent. I think it'd be weird to be mixing trees, personally speaking. Um, so what else would what else would be fitting in next to the roads? Would there be anything else, or is it just paving? You could also have some of these every now and then, the things that go over. That's kind of cool, actually. There's a few different variants of those. It doesn't have to be this one specifically. It could be different gates. They have their own lights and stuff too. Smaller, you think the smaller lights? I would be inclined to agree. Now, either side of these dirt, this dirt road, this will be a regular road, and then this will be a building, you know? That's the distances we're talking about here. <clears throat> do pink trees break... Do pink trees to break up the white. I, I don't know about that, guys. I could show you, but I, I really strongly believe that it would look better just to keep it consistent. But... Maybe not. Maybe I'm I'm wrong. Two, three. three. So you'd have something like that. What do you think? Break up the trees or keep them the same? I think keep them the same, but, you know. Let me know what you think. You got an Eiffel Tower. A linear park or green belt referencing the tower grid would look great. You can add a water body too. I don't know if the tourist building requires the iron tower. I'm not sure what you mean. A linear park or green belt referencing the tower grid. I'm not sure what that means by referencing the tower grid. Well, all pink. You can do alternating if you want. <laughs> but see, I've already got... So the way I use the pink cherry blossoms are usually to indicate the tourists. 
So anywhere that there's bus stops and restaurants, I've been using the pink cherry blossoms because it's like, it's just their kind of thing. It's the tourist. So I've always tried to put it in places where it's, it's kind of like that. So for a more downtown feel next to investors, I think the white trees make sense for me. There's a clock that goes over the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, d I wouldn't just use this one the whole way. I'm just trying to get the, the layout and shape. And then we'll, once we know the shape, then we can put in the ornaments we want. Um, should the gates go in front of the tree? I think they probably should, right? More like that. We have lamppost, gate, tree. And then maybe a gap, like a blank. And then we repeat. Let me just get rid of this and just copy that over, just to see. be more like this. Mm, I don't know guys, I'm not loving it. Now would you play Satisfactory with me? No. Uh, triple stone roads in this version might be strange. Middle may want to change. Yeah, so the comparison is this. Do we go with what, it, what this is or do we go with something like this? So a road with a two block in the center or do we have a road with a block either side? Which ultimately will need roads either side of it as well, probably. I'm leaning more like this, because I think it's more straightforward. Although I do like the idea of the... The kind of streetlight things. That's pretty cool. But that could be placed anywhere, like on a pathway or something. In fact, this doesn't need to be a road, I guess. It could just be... We could have, like, a pathway going somewhere. Yeah, a path in the middle, I think, would probably make more sense for something like that. Alright. Let's get rid of this for now. Good to test it out. I think I'm going to stick with this for the moment, but I will use this somewhere and place like a path that goes through. Maybe that leads to the artisans, actually. It could be quite nice. That could be cool. In between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that would be great. So that's probably what I'll use it for with the little archways and the hanging lights and the clocks and stuff. Okay, so we've got two blocks there and two blocks here. Then we want kind of the same on this side. I really remember why I left a gap there. Um, now I know why. It's because of the way the bridge works. Oh no, these houses. <laughs> both boulevard types, one from the palace to the investor district and the other from the artisan cliffs to the engineers. Yep, something like that. I'll definitely use both, I think. Could you do it as another waterway? No, I'd like to keep the canal just ending where it ends. Uh, personally, anyway. Maybe it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to have single canals. You good at this? I don't know if I'm good at it. I'm trying out different ideas and I feel like nothing's really sticking right now, but... God, it's so difficult. Maybe I shouldn't have streamed it because I'll just keep going back and forth on things. <laughs> Try six wide. Oh no, it's too big. Too big. A single wider block along the river will align the roads. Uh, it's hard to know exactly what you mean. Hmm. I guess I play satisfactory by myself then. I guess so. <laughs> I have friends that ask me to play games all, like all the time with them, and I just can't. I don't even have time for them. Anyway, flags with the spur logo at the end. 
to mark the beginning of the road. I don't know what the spur logo is. Spur logo? I gotta be honest, I'm not sure even what a spur is. Alright, hmm. So sorry that I can't figure this out or get something that I'm happy with. Try something like this. This is what people were saying as well, anyway. Just to go with the cosmetics. Looking for the overhanging flagpoles. There's quite a few. Can't remember where they all are, though. There's one. That's the clock, for instance. Oh, no, that's one of the lights, yeah. What these are can change. I just want to, like, you know, they'd be placed here, and we could always change the look of which ones we're using later. But it's just, I just don't really know what to put on the other side of these things. The lights didn't feel like they were making much sense there. For some reason, I thought I heard the ghost of Arthur. <laughs> put a marker down and change its skin. To the more built up one then place it on the three lane road with partition down the center i don't know what you mean oh the market sorry put a market down and change its skin to the more built up one and then place it on the three lane road with a partition down the center to have the market break it i don't really think i should be placing markets down because <laughs> they're not even needed no, none of my residents actually need them. You're saying use the Grand Market as a built-up market. And then have a three-lane... So this is five across. No, it's six across. And this way it's four. So you get a three-lane on the end. Is that what you're saying? Something like that. Where it ends white people coming into it. That's kind of nice, actually. Yeah. What happened if that was like in the middle? Does it fit in the middle? Oh no, it does. Oh, it, it does, yeah. Here it is. Well, I could have this not be a road. Could be other things. Maybe. Such a shame that they put that around the outside. An ornate market. Huh, <laughs> there's a little pig. This one's definitely nicer. What's that one called? A grand market. Hmm. Uh, just make the road from 5 to 3. I think the first variation was just too busy. That's why you didn't like it. Possibly, yeah. I reinstalled Windows until I forgot about my Anna save. Oh my god. Apparently the cloud save isn't really a cloud. Yikes. So sorry to hear that. Hopefully it wasn't too big of a save. But yeah, I never trust cloud saves. I gotta be honest, I don't trust Ubisoft launcher to do anything. <laughs> to be honest. Not the best. Uh, I do like this idea of the Grand Market. I actually think the market would be... You know, no one actually needs one. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I don't know, guys. I might have to just play around a lot of my own and try to figure it out. I still just don't know. I'm just not finding anything I'm happy with. I was relatively happy with this. This is pretty good. And I need to do ornaments up here, but I'm struggling. And I'm happy with the the change I made down here. I realized I didn't need an extra tourist, so that's all good progress. But it's just dealing with what's, whatever's going to be up here. It's 
really difficult. It's kind of tempting, like, I'm also thinking, like, you could have this come up and then take a sharp left turn that leads over to the artisans. Um, as well. But in terms of figuring out, like, the layout of this, is, I don't know. Have you lost your mind? I feel we like I might have. Road. I know you need a road. I'll get you a road. I'm probably all really unhappy that they didn't have them. <laughs> Maybe a new world detox. <laughs> just go over here for a while. Yeah, well, I ultimately just, before I can really do anything with anything else, I need to figure out that I have to start at the very top, which is investors. But um, these streams on YouTube are going to be shorter anyway. I'm not sure how long I've been going, but I'll probably have to wrap up soon anyway. It was good to get like different ideas from you guys, and I did make progress, even though it feels like it's been kind of slow doing that. But that's on me. Uh, let me just check something really quick. My YouTube... Turned off for a second. Yeah, just bear with me one second. There we go, we can see things now. Alright. Um, yeah, how long have I been going for? What time is it? So it started at 3. It's 6. Yeah, I'll just do like, I don't know, 15 more minutes and I'll probably wrap it up and we'll just leave it there as like a complete experimental episode, but at least I got that area done. This area's layout is done, although the types of buildings will change. I need to do the zoo myself. Got rid of a tourist, knowing that we can actually have more later, so that's fine. Economy's okay. But yeah, it's just ultimately still just trying to figure out like a creative solution to this area and making something kind of interesting, you know? Might need to see some... get some like examples in cities and stuff just to give myself some inspo, some inspiration. Uh, maybe have a, th a deeper look at some of the ornaments. And I want to do that. Oh, you know what we could do just really quickly right now? Let's just mess around here with the dragon pack. So this is like a little shopping district. Bus station ultimately does have to stay here. It has to stay here. It can move within here, but it has to go there somewhere. Let's do that. So this can even change as well if I wanted to. Old style. Let's make it the old style. Why not? Alright, so this is what we have to work with for the dragon pack. Interesting, you could build a wall around this place. Wishing tree, gongs, lampposts. Garden of Serenity. Hmm. That's really big, actually, that ornament. New Year's stalls. If I were you, I'd build Sword and Rush like Istanbul. Yeah, I, I, I hate to be dis somewhat dismissive, but every now and then we'll get people that are similar to how you feel, which is you should make your city like some city in real life. But this game is, it isn't really a, it's not city skylines, you know? It's not just, oh, make a city like real life. It's as much as people would like it to be that way, it's just not. It's a logistics game on a grid. So when you're saying things like build these big boulevards or, or you know, reference the tower and stuff like that, it's like, I can't, you can't really do those types of things. <laughs> Um, a city divided into two and I'm not going to redo the entire city so I kind of have to just not be able to do that kind of thing you know um, maybe if you're starting out from the complete scratch like the amount of time I've spent in like this hundreds of like a hundred hours easily has gone into the layout of all these things over here and you're like you know you should just divide the whole city into two like Istanbul it's like this game's just not like that where I can make in city skylines you could do that 100% but that, this game isn't really like that. It's kind of a... It's a logistics game that's dressed as a city builder. <laughs> uh, I want to see you play Satisfactory with someone, but the only person I know that has Satisfactory isn't online. Oh, you want to play with someone. If you're a channel member, you could join our Discord, and we've got a multiplayer server, although I don't think there's many people in it. I'm planning on relaunching it in about a month's time uh, when I come back and do streaming, but more full-time on the channel. And uh, you should be able to play with people then. I'm hoping that when update 8, did update 8 actually today get a video or something? I think they said today it's getting a video. When it gets its release date, I'll probably reset the server and we'll start a new multiplayer session then. But it is a channel member thing. Damn it. It's such a problem that this... I wish we could uh, move this over twice. We could have an entrance here to Chinatown and another entrance here. Let's put down a few ornaments and move them around then if we need to. 
But yeah, I feel bad because obviously a lot of people really want this game to be like this historical city builder, and yeah, it just isn't. <laughs> um. Hmm. That's the going price for contraband. Kind of nice there, actually. For us, we have fortune coin stand. Look at the bus stop move further in or something. It feels like that's just like out of place here, but it needs to be there. Like it has to be here for gameplay reasons. Uh, you could make more use of sight lines and use first person. Yeah, I totally do do that. I, I do actually try and do that. I always, like, once we were building this place, I immediately hopped down. And that's what we should do at the end. We'll just walk around what have actually changed, <laughs> which isn't much, but we'll walk around a little bit anyway. Um... Yeah, an enchanted city wall. It's so cool that you have that, but I can't really think of... I feel like maybe I will make a bigger Chinatown district up here. We can actually use this more fully. Feels like I um, won't be able to use a lot of the ornaments if I'm only working with this small space here. And for the uh, Garden of Serenity as well. A bronze bell. It almost would have to go next to the restaurants. <laughs> Something like that. And then uh, if we have that boulevard, we could walk underneath it. So let's grab the boulevard. Or even actually, let's be different and grab the pedestrian zone pack. That looks a bit more thematic to this area. Switch it to one. Rotate it around. You need the road next to the power station. If you shift it right, the bus station can fit next. The power station's up here. You're talking about this. Uh, I'm not too sure what you mean, but this does need a road, yeah. I mean, it, it needs a road touching it somewhere, but so do these houses. Everything has a, needs a road in this area. There's no one that can... I can't. I mean, I could cut the road... No, I can't cut the road here, because it needs to come down this way. Although, it might come over that way. Uh, yeah, let me try that then. This road could maybe be cut. Not sure how that would affect things. The power might not be able to reach down that far then. Uh, no, that looks okay. Power's reaching there. The bank. Bank has full reach. Members Club doesn't, but that'll change when they build up attractiveness. Yeah, so that can work. Town Hall, yep. Yeah. Have the bus station tucked in behind the town hall. The gong is awesome. Um, yeah, something like that's kind of cool. Fortune coin stand, New Year, Peaceful Pagoda. So we have a Peaceful Pagoda over there. The dragon thing could go along here. have different variants as well, don't they? Actually, I'll change the other one. I feel like this could probably move there. Maybe... That's the mailbox, so that's fine. What policies do I have currently? I'm gonna have a look real quick. Thank you for all you've done. Oh really? You're as naughty as the children. Currently I'm using um How do I get rid of that? There we go. The extra attractiveness from town halls. You could get extra influence from engineers, which gives you so much. I think it gives like three hundred. Oh actually not as much as I thought. Only a hundred. Um but yeah, I want the attractiveness because that's giving us other benefits. Uh I've got the module that gives me ten influence per zoo module, which 
I guess in theory you don't need if you just farm influence a lot because we could get 250 influence per attractiveness set. So we've got 11465. If I enact this, I've got 13215. So it's two extra prestige levels higher. But my influence is negative 300 now. So I'd have to farm a lot more influence before I can do that. But I could probably do that in the future. Um, this one then, extra goods from farms. We make The only production we have here is vineyard, so it makes sense to use that one. Hey, Neil, thanks very much for the kind words. Appreciate that. And again, for the Super Chats channel memberships and the Super Stickers as well. So I appreciate the support that's on this one. Free attractiveness for artisan and engineer residences. So again, just focusing on attractiveness. It's funny because I've never had a problem supplying people with what they need. The only reason I have problems now is because loads of ships were destroyed in the war and I just haven't rebuilt them yet. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got on. You can replace the standard road and have a large Chinatown entrance now. Yeah, so I guess I've kind of done that now, right? So we've got a Chinatown entrance there, there, and here. So three ways in. I'm curving the road around just to make it more interesting to get to the actual shopping centers. Uh, so I'm happy about that. We need to fill these with something, though. This could be another tree in here. That would look good. What else have we got? Useful pagoda. We have that stone lion statue, which could go here. The gong. This guy's banging on the that bell over there. We could put another gong like here, maybe. Mm. Actually, the gong outside the town hall. Would that be weird? <laughs> hey, Alan. Hey, appreciate the, that a lot. New channel member. Did that um, notification pop up on the stream, by the way? I actually couldn't see it, but let me know if it did. It should have popped up as like a notice up here, I think. Your lantern. So, yeah, we've got one there. That's fine. I think um, here I could put down the pedestrian, uh, sorry, the tourism luggage. Always like seeing that next to places like this because I feel like people will be waiting around a bit. What else could we get? That looks pretty good there, right? The red. And then we just got a gap of two here. Maybe some city lights. And uh, what does the place look like at nighttime? Ooh, cool. <laughs> It did? Good. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, I tried to keep the notifications just really quick and simple and blend it with the game just so that because it, because it gets made into a video, I don't want to be too obtrusive for a lot of people. Fortune co coin stand. So I had one of these, didn't I? Yeah, it's there. In a bit of a weird spot. It would have to turn this way, really, to make sense. But that's kind of it. We do have the enchanted city gate. If you wanted to build a wall all around it, you could possibly do that. That'd be... Yeah, I think I'll leave the gate and the wall out. The wishing gate. Something else. What is this? Um, I just put that down for a second. May this year find you in good health, surrounded by friends and and more food than you could possibly eat. Yeah, that's kind of cool there, actually. It's fine there. Um, pave that. And then we just have two empty slots here. Oh, I never put down a lamppost. How silly of me. Two gongs across from each other? No. <laughs> um. There. Hard to see, but if I just focus up a bit. So here's what we got. Well, let's just fix this entrance as well. That's it now. It's using almost every ornament except for the walls, right? YouTube Premium views pay more. That is true, yeah. If you're a, a YouTube Premium uh, user, I am one. You don't get ads. It's such a shame because if you become a channel member, it doesn't remove ads. I wish it did. But it doesn't, unlike Twitch. 
Uh, channel memberships just it's like a donation basically it's, and it's very helpful especially if people are becoming channel members for certain things and I know kind of like where to keep a focus on as well um, but yeah so the way YouTube basically works is you get paid based on ads that run on views right so if you get I run ads every 10 minutes in my videos and um, you basically earn revenue from that but if someone is a YouTube premium member so they don't get any ads you actually get more from them. It tells you, it actually breaks it down and says like, you got like 500 premium views. And I don't know how much money that is, but you get a certain amount of money from that. And it's like, if that was 500 regular views, it's like a quarter the amount of, you know, revenue that you get. So YouTube premium is great because it actually supports creators and it gives you no, no ads. I just wish that they did, I, I just wish that they made channel memberships remove ads as well. I think the reason they don't is because you can actually set the price of your own membership. So I set mine to 199. Which I guess is fairly low for the base tier. And uh, maybe they just don't want to remove ads based on that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, the question is assuming pe someone could only purchase one or the other. Oh, yeah, which is more direct. Definitely the channel membership is more beneficial to me. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm happy for people to... You should totally become a member just to remove the uh, ads yourself. Now, hang on one second. There's no camera. <laughs> My girlfriend Rosie was going to bring in our cat to show it on camera, and I'm like, oh, there's no camera on this stream. Um, right, we're just going to finish up now. I'm going to walk around this area and the other area we just built, and we'll call it a day. So we started down here. I built out the docks so that they connected to the actual road and this little area here. So we have a street map and a little anchor. So we'll have a little walk around. I'll show it first, and then we'll walk around it, I guess. So the airship platform moved down this way, too. There's now, no forgiving. now we're loading yeah. up airships. And this is what I was talking about earlier. People are like, oh, you know, it should be up on a mountain or something. It's like, I can't do that. <laughs> you know, not really. <laughs> Unless I removed everything else. Um, but anyway, yeah, so down by the docks where our other things come in. So they, in theory, they could fly in this way. Get in, get out, in theory. Depending where they're coming from. Anyway, so we have our little entrance there this for departures. Excellent spot for a base camp. Where are you looking to settle, Benty? Yeah, she can have all the small so islands. Good. Fine with that. Anyway, we come into departures or arrivals. Doesn't really matter. It's both the same. A competitor raised a settlement. And as we come in, we have our spotlights. We have a nice little tree. We have souvenir shop, postcard shop. So that's more for the people that are leaving, right? So if you're getting off the platform, you know, so this is the airship platform. Ship stock here. People get out. They walk down. Um, I think there's like a little, yeah, a little elevator. They take the little elevator down. They come out. And then they're going to see souvenirs, newspapers, their luggage, things like that. Uh, and the souvenir shops here. And they're going to walk by the spotlights. Out they go. Get greeted with this the street map. And if they want to get the bus, they hop on. They walk around. They get onto their buses. And so be it. Um, if they're waiting to leave instead, or if they have a connecting flight maybe, they come in and they can sit around in the waiting benches here. Make some important phone calls at the phone booth. The clocks will tell them, you know, when they're departing and stuff and so on and so forth. Or they can go have a drink. You know, there's the drinks bar, there's the air cafe, there's also the wine bar. They can sit up uh, with their luggage, chill, wait for the stuff, get some food, sit around the clock tower bar. Perfect. Or they could be inside the pavilion if they just want to wait in a more orderly fashion. Uh, if they are up for a bit of fun, they could go to the bathroom. Or they could go to the photography nook, get their picture taken when they get up in the balloon. Hot air balloon that rises up and has a look around the city. Shows them the World's Fair and the other engineer districts and the entire city, really, from up here. You can see everything from up here. Beautiful. Look at them. There they are. That's me and Rosie looking over my city. <laughs> All right, looking good. So now we'll just go for a little walk around to see if it makes sense on the ground. Premium works out better than memberships overall. It depends how much you view. So if you're giving me... Let's say a channel member gives you $2 or whatever. I get $1.50 of that or thereabouts. Yeah, something like that. So that's $1.50. To get $1.50 from someone who's a premium viewer, you would have to watch probably, I'd say 600 videos. <laughs> so um, I think the channel members is probably better. So the way I've always said it, a thousand regular views, not even premium views, but regular views, a thousand regular views equals, I think it's about for me, a dollar twenty. Something like that. I think I'm being ignored. I'm only eleven, I don't have money, nor Discord. 
Yeah, okay, I, d I don't know what you want me to do about that. <laughs> You're not being ignored. Um, there's other communities. If you were looking for Satisfactory and multiplayer, go onto the Satisfactory Reddit, and I think they run servers there. That's why I'd recommend it. Like I said, at the moment I don't have a community playing Satisfactory anyway, so I can't help you. Um, I'm not saying, oh, just pay, you know? <laughs> I was saying that, like, I do, you know, it's not much I can do about it. Um, but yeah, so a thousand regular views is about a dollar twenty for me. A thousand premium views is something like five hundred or six hundred views, or um, six hundred. What did I say? Six hundred premium views would equal about a dollar. So that's how it all works. So yeah, channel memberships are definitely huge. That's why if anyone becomes a channel member, it's like you're basically giving me a thousand views. It's 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 kind of insane. Uh, and that's at the low tier, and that's for everybody, you know. That's for every channel, not just mine. But I'm only a channel member of one or two channels, you know, I don't expect a lot of people to do it. Alright, so there we go. So you get down off your elevator, you get your souvenir shop, you got your luggage, got your souvenirs. And by the way, I should say, the series is doing great. I'm doing totally fine. Everything's great. So I appreciate all the support. Extra support is super helpful for me to know, like, yeah, I should stream more. It did really well. But other than that, don't feel like you have to give or anything. It's totally optional. The Discord is a perk. It's not something you should pay for. Um, Alright, anyway, so yeah, we got our newspapers, our bulletin and stuff. We can have a little walk around. Lovely ladies waiting with their fine gentlemen there. It's so cool you can see the high-rise tower in the distance, the Skyline Tower. One little issue, the flags are all blowing to the right. This flag is not. Is the airship flag blowing? Yeah, they are. So that one is blowing correctly. I should turn my flag. Although the wind direction does change, but it doesn't change for the flag ornament. So I'd have to maintain it. No one's waiting inside the pavilion, by the way. I think people only fill these up when a World's Fair is running. Because it's a World's Fair pavilion. Uh, we have our awesome looking hot air balloon. I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. Get our drinks. Hang out with other people around the bar. Check the time just in case we're running a little late. Get our fish and chips and so on. Get some wine from our artisanal wine station. Go poop. If we need to. Are you kind or blind? And there we go. That's our lovely little... Hey, look who it is. <laughs> it's our worker resident. You can see all the little portraits. That's pretty cool. So that's one area. We'll go look at the dragon garden pack next. In fact, we could actually just walk up there. So if we're leaving this area, we'll come out like this. Check the street map. Where's, the, where's Chinatown? Oh my god, is that my city? No, it would be cool if it was. That'd be amazing if they could figure that out. Anyway, all right, we'll just head up here. Frame rate's not the best, so we move slower. Interesting that you only get that RPM. Mine's like five pounds. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I'm not much of an analytics guy. I just know that like how much I get. I, I get like five or six hundred thousand views a month, and then I know how much I get off that. So I just work it out based on that. I don't actually look at my analytics too much. I'm a strange YouTuber that way. Um, but I can tell you that yeah, I get. a that, that is what I get. Um, but I don't know what the actual thing says for RPM or CPM. I don't even know what they mean. And I've been doing this full time for six years. I'm just not a stats guy. I try to just make videos and then I just see how much I get at the end of the month, basically. Alright, so if we come into this, this lovely little shopping district, really. I'll just come back into it. So we've got our drugstores and our shops on the left. We've got our town hall on the right. And then we're coming into Chinatown. I guess. We've got our cool dragon ornaments. And we've got the shops and stuff. Yeah, I like this place. This is really cool. They're having a, She's having a whale of a time in there. I can't believe her look. We have the wishing well. So what do people do here? They put up like little things as a wish. We have the massive gong that's been making noise throughout. Experience can teach a person a lot. That's awesome. All right, got our different varied trees. Our little pathway takes us around to tossing a coin for your Witcher or whatever it is. Can we even fit between here. We can. Nice. I like our little Chinatown. I think it's good. It's very small, but there isn't that many things in the like. We've used all the ornaments except for the wall. So we've used actually all the things that people interact with. Quite happy with it. Nice. Uh, I can't imagine OnlyFans would work with your demographic. You want me to do... Who said... <laughs> no, probably not. I mean, maybe. 
But I'm good. It's all good. I'm not really in it to make money. It's all fine. Um, just curious because I would think the sum total of 15 hours per month or so of YouTube premium view... No, because premium doesn't... Watch time doesn't matter for premium views because you're not getting fed ads. The watch time doesn't matter. Watch time only matters when you're not... Uh, when you're getting served ads because then you get served multiple ads but otherwise watch watch time doesn't matter for a non-premium viewer it doesn't really matter at that point um so yeah anyway i don't know why we got onto that conversation but you know it's all good i like i said i do appreciate the support people who the, the more the, the direct income is the better it is for the streamer at least it is for me that's always been my case but like I said, I really do appreciate people just being here, hanging out with me, contributing to likes, engagement, views, chatting with me, giving me ideas for the series. I mean, this series has been a very, very, very long-running one, so it's been nice to be able to chat with people about it uh, in real time. All right, so that's going to have to be it for this stream. Um, I do think I'll probably stream one more time, but I think I'll get the next episode out before that. And I might try to make it kind of a semi-regular thing where Mondays is satisfactory and Fridays is Anno. We'll see if we can do that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, as always, if you just subscribe, you'll see then when the upcoming streams are happening. Hope people enjoyed it. Try to have a bit more of a plan going forward, but this one was just like cosmetic, so it really is just trial and error. But I had fun. Hope you, hope you guys did too. And like I said, if you're just joining now or if you just joined recently, this um, stream will be viewable in a couple of hours. I think it just needs to process and then it'll be there. Where am I from? I'm from Ireland. Ireland, originally. I've been living in England for about seven to eight years. Just bought Anno last night. Any tips would be helpful. Hmm. Yeah, it's difficult to say. I'll tell you what. Look up my guide. Honestly, I know it's a funny thing to just pawn someone off with a guide. I don't really have any immediate tips, but there's two things I would check out. Um, that I worked on. One is this. Let's have a look. So, Anno 1800 guide. This guide here, this is the one I made. And I think it's a really, really good guide. <laughs> and I know I made it, but I really do think it's the best guide there is. Um, and the best guide I've ever done for any game. So I highly recommend that one. You won't be confused about anything. If you've got the time to spare, I do think it really just shows you everything about the game and doesn't really waste any time. If you don't have as much time, you just want really quick tips, then do you know Anno 1800? Again, from Republic of Play. It's a much quicker video, and it just kind of goes through things really quickly. It's more like Easter eggs and smaller things, but there's some tips in there as well. So those are the two I just recommend. But um, yeah, because it's a there's a lot of information thrown at you at the beginning, so it's kind of hard to tell you exactly where what's a good tip overall. But an overall tip will be the hmm. Try not to have to, at least early on. Try not to have any excess workforce. So you want to keep that number pretty much at zero, all these numbers at zero, when you're starting out. And everything you make, if you're making too much, sell it. Put it on a ship and sell it. My they buy, these guys buy things for a lot of money. So a lot of people struggle with money early on. And one of the go-to things is this guy. He, uh, he buys soap for 384 per ton, which is huge. So if you can just get to soap production, make some soap, and sell it here, you'll make a lot of money. And that'll keep you going. So that'll be my number one game starting tip. is just to get money, sell soap. Greetings from Poland. Well, greetings from Ireland. But that's going to have to be it for the stream, unfortunately. Like I said, this will stay up on YouTube. It'll take a couple hours to process, but it'll be back up later. Um, so that's going to have to be it for me. Um, it's been a blast. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Episode 108 should be soon enough. I'm going to finish off doing the rest of the city, and then that'll have to be it. Um, and then we can start working on the logistics of things again. All right, goodbye, and thanks for all the support. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye.